scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. You can make up your mind that today will be my day of encounter. You can make up your mind that today will be my day of liberty. You can make up your mind that today will be the day that I break open to new levels of grace, new dimensions. Hallelujah. I want us to realize that every time God speaks, it is because he has examined himself and concluded that he has the power to make it happen. Are we together? Before God speaks a thing, he looks at himself. That's what it means to be faithful. It's his name. It's not an attribute. He looks at himself. So if he says, I want to bless you and lift you, he first searches, do I have the capacity to make this happen? If he does not have the capacity to make it happen, he will not speak. And God has declared, he's opened up this series to us. It is because he wants to bless us in the name of Jesus. I'll teach you just two laws to light, just two more laws. Please get success system part one and part two. Get it even if you were here, it's free. Part one and part two. Listen to this. These are the keys that we operate in this kingdom. I was teaching the School of Ministry students yesterday and I was telling them how that don't ever be confused that we're operating in two systems. Everybody say two systems. There is the kingdom of darkness, the world system of doing things. Are we together? And there is God's system of doing things. If you follow the world system of doing things, you will be frustrated for sure. You will be unfulfilled for sure. You will live a life of pain and misery and frustration for sure. You may laugh temporarily. You may pretend that it is working. But I assure you, as surely as the sun rises and sets, you will find out that eventually your life will be full of disappointment. I have been sharing with us the laws that are responsible for dramatic breakthroughs. Write this down. The first thing I want you to write is nothing happens on its own. Nothing happens on its own. Failure does not happen on its own success does not happen on its own lifting does not happen on its own stepping into a realm of the anointing does not happen on its own a business does not grow and expand on its own a ministry does not become great on its own every level of success is initiated and sustained by laws write it every level of success is initiated and sustained by laws l-a-w-s laws principles keys a door does not open because you want to enter your desire to enter is not the seed for open doors access to the key is what opens the door you can stand in front of a door you can wish to enter you can hope to enter you can even ask to enter you can beg to enter but the door will not open it was not designed to open just from wishing whoever possesses the key is the one who opens the door have you seen a very big door being controlled by a small key 
and because that key is missing you can stand outside from morning till night is that true and so the things that we are going to be learning tonight especially for the laws i'll be sharing with you i pray that god will help you and give us understanding to believe them in jesus name let's recap on the laws we've been discussing so far right from part one can you open your notes and let's just quickly look at them law number one help me please the law of relationships very important i don't care who you are i don't care what you studied i don't care what school you went to relationship um, is very key to success who you know matters don't say who you know does not matter no sir you are people away from your destiny you ignore those people you never get there you will find god but you may never arrive there all blessings come from god through men to you please repeat it after me from god through men to me one more time from god through men to me it never comes from god to you directly it comes from god through men to you there is an impartation that is coming from god it's leaving heaven but it's going to pass through men to you are we together your prosperity comes from god when it comes from men you're in trouble it comes from god but men have always been channels i told us when we started that anything money can buy relationships can buy i don't care what it is name anything you know on earth that requires money to get relationships when you pay money you don't pay stones you pay men you don't pay goods you don't pay animals when you give money the sky does not pick the money it gives it to the men they can choose to allow your relationship pay for it are we together that's law number one what's law number two help me the law of value never forget this another word for the law of value is the law of difference you can call it the law of reward that my relevance as far as success is concerned is tied to the solutions i can provide and the problems i can solve you're not solving any problem you are unnecessary and will not be needed there's no sentiment about it are we together a sick person needs a doctor if someone who wants furniture needs a carpenter is that true yes you must find your place in the realm of greatness by becoming unique at your giftings value whatever ability you have never ask for a dimension you do not have the value to exchange for it the law of value works based on a reward system lord i want you to give me 1000 members you must rise to the place where you sustain spiritual value in terms of grace revelation access understanding and content to be trusted with those kinds of people when you rise to that level of anointing you don't have to call them they will come in response to it so if you pastor 12 people don't sit down and complain and get angry and say i i saw in my vision that i'm pastoring a nation but as you increase in value are we together the day three dead people are raised from your church you don't need to publicize for new people journalists will come you don't need to invite them is that true listen i want you to take this take this very law law two very seriously the law of value that means if people ignore me if everywhere i go i am ignored it's not because they hate me i am not a contributor are we together now the world celebrates contributors, not, not takers. Unfortunately, we live in a society that is full of takers. What is in this for me? And life tells you there are all kinds of blessings, but only apportioned for those who have the ability and the grace to contribute. Are we together? Whoever solves the problem gets the reward. Goliath of God was roaring and there was a throne. There was a wife. There was a tax-free opportunity. Everybody was afraid to confront that challenge. But a young teenager called David came 
and said Saul I'm able to take on Goliath and he said what shall be done for the one who does this he will get a wife his family will be freed from tax and he will be honored David said I take up that challenge do you know it was a risk if Goliath killed David they will say we said it now go and bury him and uh, Jesse take it easy you have other sons so it was a risk standing between you and your throne is a problem to solve the kinds and the quality of problems you solve determines the reward that comes to you are we together yes that's why there are different kinds of restaurants based on the quality that they produce are we together the amount you pay for this chair is not the amount you pay for the white chair you are sitting on why they are all chairs but qualities even among the stars one excelleth above another in glory that determines your 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 reward it is foolish to give so little to life and demand so much no your reward is commensurate to your value so if i think my financial returns is small that simply means i am solving small problems or solving problems for small people whoever solves a millionaire's problems has access to a millionaire's finance are we together yes the tailor who sold your cloth is laughing with your money now in his house you parted with that money because you could not sew for yourself the day you learn how to sew you will stop paying him is that true ladies and mothers you went to the market today you woke up in the morning with money in your pocket now that money is not there where did it go to it went to the one who solved the problem you were looking for so if all you do is keep meeting problem solvers you will be broke because money will continue to leave you to them the day you join them as a problem solver somebody's money now comes to you are we together when you solve more problems than your needs you become rich irrecoverably more problems than your needs your needs are ten thousand the problems you solve is one thousand you are minus nine thousand that's a life of frustration up to date down tomorrow are we blessed the law of value the key to getting out of a life of complex a life of inferiority it's not just to say people don't like me oh I am this I came from this village all that is nonsense the world will throw away every excuse to honor valuable people they are sport athletes who sometimes have to speak their native languages and they will interpret nobody has forced them to speak English you know why because what they are doing is their sport their field they are footballers that you see with all kinds of things regardless of their limitations they chase after them who pursues you is a sign of your value who pursues you if weak and low and beggarly people seek you it's a sign that that is the quality of the value you provide for them if great influential people pursue you it's a sign that that is the value listen every man's financial destiny with respect to value and solution provision is left in his hands it's left the hand of god long ago it's in your hands we have a very funny world that believes people should just bless you and give you money for doing nothing and i always ask that question who do you think you are the world is made up of 7.2 billion people who wake up every morning looking for who can solve their problems and you don't solve any problem you see that's why armed robbery and corruption is bad you see that a corrupt person has reward without value you see why we say corrupt people are bad so we see someone building houses and estates but we and whose problem did you solve if you can show us the problem you solve we don't have a problem with the rewards whether financial or otherwise so next time you ever see a rich man don't be angry find out what value what problem they are solving that answers the question as to whether pastors should be blessed or not i'm not talking of a life of extravagance you know most times when people see pastors blessed they say ah, just for talking that's the thinking of a fool the words i speak unto you they are what spirit and life 
a pilot is paid over 0.5 million per month why because he's flying people across places that's someone's salary for decades and someone just finishes an aviation school within two years or three years and is receiving over 500,000 is the value every accident from a plane crash ends in death immediately except some divine intervention comes so that's a risk are we together you sit down and for 50 minutes sometimes eight hours when you are traveling from africa to asia 90 percent of your journey is across water you don't see a single land and somebody is risking to take you over 45 50 000, um um, uh, feet above sea level now that's mastery so he's rewarded you who didn't have the courage to go to that school you are the payer and the pilot who risks himself is the recipient the day you are angry what do you do you go to the school when you learn it are we together do not ever frown at a rich man again do not ever insult rich people we have this ugly most of our loved ones sincere people but they are truthfully speaking not offering any value and whenever they see blessed people they say see them see them it's a terrible way of living next time you see great people don't be angry find out what they are doing that you're not doing the law of value number three the law of competence and excellence closely related to the law of value value as a raw material is useless it must be refined before it is rewardable value must be refined before it is rewardable value as a potential is not rewardable it's the same thing as seeing crude oil as a dark paste of smelly substance but when you pass it through the required operations, then you produce foil. You produce other, um, other very useful, um, uh, um, what do we call it now? Very useful things that are required for home, for cars and whatever you have. And then they reward them. Competence is very important. I taught you that excellence is a language. It draws certain people to you. The same way if I speak Yoruba now, every Yoruba person hears immediately and they respond. If I say praise the Lord in Yoruba, will you answer in English? You will answer in Yoruba because I spoke your language. If I say praise the Lord in Hausa, all who understand Hausa will answer back. If I say praise the Lord in Igbo or whatever language I use, that's how excellence is. Excellence is a language. In other words, whoever understands me, you are invited. So if you do not come to the seat of excellence, it's a sign you did not hear the language and you are not invited. Two excellent people can come into your life and reward you the equivalent of 1,000 people. Excellence is powerful. You must be accurate. You must be serious with whatever you are doing. You are a tailor, be excellent. You are a hairdresser, be excellent. You are a preacher, be excellent. Excellence requires thoroughness. Excellence requires exposure. Excellence requires having a reference. Excellence requires consistent development. Consistent development. Outsmarting your own records. Surpassing ordinary standards. That's excellence. Anything not done excellently is not worth being seriously rewarded. Are we together? You make yam and egg sauce, but the plate is not excellent, it's not washed, dirty plate, dirty spoon. You are not serious, it's a sign you don't believe in your business. I shouldn't come there. Are we together? You are by that atmosphere attracting certain kinds of people. The day you change your plate, you are serious. When people come into your restaurant, you greet them, you smile, you're welcome, sir. Please be seated. How may we help you? Oh, I need so, 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 and so. Do you have cold water? Oh, we don't have cold water here, sir, but we can get it for you. Wow. He calls his colleagues because experience markets. I just found a restaurant. When I came here, they are so cautious. They are nice. 
they are wonderful people i shouted at them and truly i later realized that i was wrong yet they apologized are we together i finished eating and i was happy you are a cab driver people enter your car you don't just frown where are you going i'm going to sabo oh yeah let's go when you reach you just park so yeah oh, yeah come down my money you will attract certain kinds of people but one day one rich man will disguise himself and sit down in your cab and you greet him hello sir thank you so much my joy to pick you where exactly are you going to sir? Sir, oh really you have something doing there sir thank you before you know it he looks at you how much is it 300 naira can you give me a discount well sir honestly i would love to but it may not be possible i sincerely apologize let's leave it at 300 not lie lie 300 i've been working in the morning that's a terrible person are you learning the law of excellence yes there's no need you can be nice loving yet firm it's 300 and then you drop the person um sir would you want my contact details i'm always available for you my advantage is that i live within this area i don't have to come from Samo. if you need me i'll be ready to help you before you know it that driver attracts three or four or five people now everybody is driving but one is doing it excellently your car is neat you don't come and your car is smelling around doing all kinds of things you're driving someone he stops later on the road say oh God, how will we do now there are too many people who are not excellent they do regular things and they want extraordinary rewards listen stop excellence is doing ordinary things in an extraordinary way are we together i'm just recapping on these laws very important you must be excellent you are a hairstylist keep your saloon clean you are a tailor you don't have to show us you are a tailor by pieces of fabrics all around you can organize your place are we together organize your place you can't buy an ac buy a fan get a television let people come and be watching something you must be excellent you must be competent say i receive grace to be competent if you're frying akara on the road you can make your akara the best in samaru the best in zaria find out what can i add to this akara that will make it very nice maybe the packaging someone comes to take pap why don't you say okay let me get a little trampoline just at a corner here what if he's a, a respected personality wants to come and take akara and pap does he have to sit down under smoke i said that's how we do it here sorry the cops are full people are drinking the pap and he's sitting down he's hungry and doesn't have all that time but he has to wait for somebody to finish taking his pap then you quickly rinse it and pour his own no no that is a dirty environment a dirty lifestyle and a life of mediocrity why don't you get different kinds of cops you have brains discern people somebody comes looking as a smart gentleman then you can start doing certain things make some cups factor your cost into it get a little if you if you want take away you package it well don't just squeeze an, a newspaper a white paper or a, a jam paper i don't know who wrote what there there is ink you are putting hot akara on blue ink are we together now no why don't you use what's the name of this paper ladies foil paper right why don't you change if you still must use that your own akara you put it first in a foil paper and wrap it factor your cost into it everybody say excellence get a clean table clean table put everything you're welcome sit down sir and then you'll be surprised one day somebody will tell you i have a little get together and we just decided we are rich people so it's not like we're looking for what to eat but we just want to eat akara and pap and you are the one who will make it and you'll be saying i used to sell it 10 10 naira. i said no no no, we don't do that we're giving you fifty thousand. whatever you can make just make and bring not everybody is threatened by price there are people who have conquered price they are looking for quality don't ever be deceived that everybody is asking how much 
No, there are people who have conquered price. They are looking for quality. They are interested in an experience, not price. Law number. What's, what's the fourth law? Law of what? Very powerful law that you must never forget. As it is in your mind, so it will be in your life. Realities are first shaped in your mind before shaped in your life. You don't become neat physically first. No. Neatness starts in your mind. If you are dirty in your mind and you are neat physically in three days, your environment will change to look like what your mind is. Do not try to correct things first from the physical. Correct it from the mind. Are we together? Yes. If you are lazy, don't just try to prompt yourself. Change it from the mind. Everything that is wrong with your physical environment came from your mind. Environmental conditioning, genetic conditioning. You have to change your mind. That's why the Bible says to renew our mind by the word of God. I've seen people who you try to adjust their lives and temporarily they adjust but like a rubber ring. You must return back to your default position you don't believe in honor because you don't know it it is not a mindset somebody whips you and says are you not going to greet him i say good afternoon sir and then in five minutes you are back to your default position of being rude and lousy it is terrible to try to fake physically something that is not a reality in your mind you will betray yourself eventually so the key to lasting change is to first create that correction from your mindset and then naturally it will flow if you are a a dishonorable person the key is to first change your mindset are we together if you are a loud person change your mindset the law of the mind is powerful many people have changed their lives because they changed their mindsets some of you before you came for koinonia you insulted men of God and insulted everyone. You joined your parents, you joined your loved ones, you joined other men of God to tear down other people. But as you came, the word of God did something to your thinking. Is that true? There was an adjustment and you made up your mind that I will love all men. I leave judgment to God. Now, you don't try to not insult people. You are free already. There are some of you like we spoke about excellence some of you were not excellent at all but when you came just by observation you felt I, I have to be this i should iron my clothes I, i'm used to wearing clothes that i don't iron i don't care whether it's ironed or not but now i realize it's not the price of the clothes it's who wears it so i iron my clothes even if it is 200 naira i don't allow my socks to be smelling around and then i now wear it no mindset the most helpless person on earth is one who is resistant to mental transformation anybody who is resistant to mental transformation there's nothing you can do with that person the law of the mind that's law number what law number five the law of faith i'll teach you two laws now very quickly and then we'll pray the law of faith we're teaching success systems the fifth law is the law of faith say after me the law of faith f-a-i-t-h the law of faith the law of faith if you will ever succeed in life you will need to use your faith what is faith faith is the action you take based on the conviction you have about god and his word faith is the action you take the name given to the action not just the belief the action that is taken based on conviction obedient action based on conviction and the word of god being the source of that conviction that's called faith so when i take action based on the understanding of the word of god i have my heart is full of conviction and it, comp it compels my life to respond accordingly. I am walking in faith. Faith is conviction plus obedience. Faith is conviction plus obedience. Faith is not obedience. 
there must be an instruction before obedience faith is not just conviction that's called belief that you believe a thing does not mean you have faith faith is belief plus obedience conviction plus obedience many people claim they have faith they only believe the word of god are we together numbers chapter 23 verse 19 nobody will give you a guarantee for success you will have to use your faith nobody will give you a guarantee for success read it everybody is projected one to read god is not a man that he should lie neither the son of man that he should repent have he said and shall he not do it or hath he spoken and shall he not make it good in other words when God speaks, it is within his power to make it come to pass. Say God has the ability to make his word come to pass. Say it one more time. God has the ability to make his word come to pass. Write the following things down. Number one, you will have to take risks to succeed. You will have to take risks to succeed. In 2010, during our Kingdom Wealth Summit, I taught in the business session that faith in the realm of success and especially in business and all of that is spelled R-I-S-K. That's the spelling of faith. We live in a world of people who are so risk averse, so fearful, they will never do anything. Christians are some of the most fearful people in terms of taking action. It's one thing to wait upon the Lord and to wait for seasons. But it's another thing for you to know that this is a season and you close your eyes and take a step of faith. Brothers and sisters, if you must meet Jesus, you must walk on that water. If it be thou, bid me come. And he said, come. There are too many people who will not take action. You will not start that business because you are afraid. I watch somebody lose. I don't want to lose money. I don't want to lose my shop. I don't want to do this. What if the birds die? Africa is full of what ifs and we never take action. Stand up and do something. What if I apply and I don't get the job? It will be that I wasted money. It will take 5,000 for me to go and submit my CV in Lagos. It will take another 5,000 for me to return. Maybe I will need to book a hotel, 10,000, and stay two days. If I spend 30,000 just to submit my CV, what if I don't get the job? There is no guarantee. There is no uncle there. We live in an age of fearful people, risk-averse people. Every champion, every world changer, listen to me, is a person of risk. Abraham, take your son. It's a risk. The law of faith. A time must come in your success equation where you have to close your eyes and like Esther say, if I perish, I perish. Failure is not the end of life. Don't fear failure. When you fear failure, you program it to happen in your life. Great people are not those without failures. Listen carefully. Great people are those who have learned how to rise even when they fall. The brand 7up. For years I didn't know why it was called 7up until I began to study brands and I found out that it was called 7up because the person tried 6 times, 6 times and failed. It was the 7th time that he succeeded that's why he called it seven up so six down and then seven up you drink it and you are happy but you are drinking somebody's success after failure what if he stopped the sixth time what if he stopped the sixth time like many of you have stopped most christians think because god said to do something means that you will succeed automatically you will still go through the law of process and many times it will require failure why failure because you have to learn why failure because you have to build mastery why failure because you have to understand how things work the body of christ thinks prophecy is just an escape route from going through the law of process make no mistakes when you see people rise they have made mistakes that you did a business and failed does not mean god did not speak to you 
and believers will be the first to tell you sam i warned you don't open a shop i told you there's no money in zaria you claim that god told you you open the shop after one week armed robbers came and waylaid you and by it they will say i saw a vision it's just that i didn't know how to tell you and based on that vision you close the shop and remain broke that's why many christians are poor broke and mediocre you sit down wishing i will do something one day until somebody just gets up and does it there is a vacancy i don't know anybody oh should i apply should i not apply and you are sitting there and you watch somebody with less qualifications than you go and submit the cd listen the world only honors men of action not just men of wish men of action after all the planning and everything you must take action you must take action i want to start the school forever you have not done anything apostle god called me to be a millionaire ceo you said this thing in the year 2000 you've not registered one company millions have passed through your hands you've not done anything i will do this i will do that the world is full of people at 84 they tell you when i was 20 years i wanted to do this and for 64 years they couldn't do anything the fearful and the cowardly never become great write it down the law of faith the fearful and the cowardly never become great there are people today i will learn how to drive in the name of jesus you started two weeks one one truck just passed near you and you said it's not by force the first time you you went to a driving lesson you were 19 now you are almost 40 you can't take a car by the road why not because there are no cars <laughs> i don't want to die but somebody needs to carry you from one place to the other yet you see some of these house boys have you seen them during salah nine years old on bike they don't think of failure all of them they learn how to ride bike in two hours they learn how to drive their buses within two days their orgas pack it for them in pz and then while they are gisting, the boys are the ones who still keep pushing it and that's how they learn in two weeks they have learned you see somebody who cannot drive anything driving to mina and you see risks that should kill him listen brothers and sisters fear runs away from courageous people fear itself as a spirit is afraid of certain people the cowardly in life never become anything one guy called me one time and he said apostle um we we are going to i, I think it's a crusade or so somewhere and he said apostle sorry is it possible for us to call you if we are stranded i said no i didn't send you go there and go to that field and experience what it means to have supernatural testimonies go and stand there there are coppers the moment they post them you are here they post them to Bielsa. i don't know anybody you say everybody please call uncle this call auntie that how old are you 30 because of inaction many of our parents the day they were leaving the village the only thing they left with was a blessing they returned back home after 20 years successful their parents just told them Tom, don't pursue women don't drink beer love god be serious we bless you bye bye when they came into the city they knew nobody but their god and they started listen let me teach you something never over pamper people give them an opportunity to take action especially for those of us who are rich love your children love everybody but don't over pamper people you must give people room to take action it is god that protects most of us that's why we have weak men today we have men who are like women you know why there is too much over pampering a young boy tells you he wants to write wayek and you tell him sit down come up with an idea how much is the form seven thousand okay think of something you can do to raise two thousand and he comes out after three hours playing computer games and he said i could not think of anything are there no grasses in people's houses to weed are we together 
that's why we raise a lot of irresponsible people what's wrong with meeting someone and say sir i am a young boy who is trying to um, i want to move forward my parents do not have the opportunity to help me please sir can you allow me with your grass my budget is six thousand i don't know how much this will be but i can with your grass i can call my friends and you look at a young man walking his way to greatness and you can say go ahead and weed it and instead of giving him one thousand or two thousand you can give him three thousand and your number you have helped that boy are we together there are many people who do not want to take action there are many men today who lost their job since year 2000 till today they've been given all kinds of flimsy excuses that's why we love prophecy because we think prophecy is an excuse for responsibility say in the name of jesus i receive grace tonight to take action give us job 325 never fear failure write it down never fear failure never fear failure for the thing which i greatly feared is come upon me and that which i was afraid of is come unto me this is job speaking never fear failure when you fear failure you create the you activate the law of expectation failure don't be afraid of stepping into the unknown be guided yes but know that no matter how people love you you will have to take that action god is speaking to someone here your excuses are over you are getting older and older and you are not getting established why because i am i don't that my uncle promised me when i was in 200 level now your uncle is dead stop crying thank god for your your father said he would not help you you must sit down and tell yourself i'm not going to beg again i sit down and i will do something let me tell you heaven will back those who will take action and be serious you are waiting for marriage to bail you out you are a lazy person you are a very very lazy person there are many men who are looking for wives i don't have a problem with our ladies honestly in terms of responsibility my challenge especially over action is for brothers there are some of you looking at me right now you are growing older but your sense of responsibility is still at a zero level no action if at age 30 you are still calling home mom C, will you send me something pop C, will you send me something listen to me very carefully you are on your way to being an irresponsible husband irresponsible father you don't become responsible just because a ring entered your hand you must be a father first before you have children it is not children that make you a father it's from the word abba the consciousness to be a provider are we together you're a man here and you are not catering for your family they may not have the courage to tell you but i'm telling you now you are failing god in that family are we together I wish I had the opportunity to reach some of our loved ones. Let me tell them. It's a shame when a daughter, a son, turns to their father and say, Father, it's, it's time. I, I need to buy a shirt. And the man says, what will I do? Sir, I'm, a, I'm in final year. I need money for my project. Should I kill myself? I tell you the truth. That is irresponsibility to the core. What should that person do? You are simply saying, go and be a prostitute. I don't care. Action. Today we are here by the grace of God because of action. After you plan, you must act. When you fail, you stand up, re-strategize and move forward. Let them laugh at you. The ones who are laughing at you have not taken action. That's why. You see, let me tell you. Anybody they are not talking about is because he's not doing anything. It's not because they like you. It's because you have not done anything yet. The law of faith. Matthew chapter 7, verse 7 to 8. Please give it to us. Every great man will tell you that he pursued the unknown. Every great man will tell you he took steps when there was no guarantee. It is usually when we see the results that we think the people had any guarantee. The Bible says, ask and it shall be given to you. It says, seek and seek. Although you have not found it, seek it. Listen, 
when i started doing something about my finances i didn't know how to move from point a to point b i started the journey to success understanding it in 2004 until then it was just gambling understanding but i made up my mind 2004 i said i would learn these systems i didn't know anything no opportunity for mentorship almost everybody around me was not really making it and i said no i have to learn i remember getting dr miles monroe's books and i started from there i didn't know but i began to seek listen let me tell you do not think knowledge will come and meet you and spoon feed you pursuit is the proof of passion you must be passionate enough to pursue it i watch people right now i don't know how many times seeking for uncommon mentors in the rain in the sun and little discomfort and he says, sorry uh, the way my hair is eh? every time i'm listening once there's heat it destroys you are not and i let the ladies do it that's all right god created them that, that but you as a man i have headaches so i won't listen to the message <laughs> that means that panadol is far from you because the grace and the resources to buy it will come through what enters your ears brother say in the name of jesus i didn't shout it in the name of jesus from this night i declare that the days of wishing are over i take action now go and start that business go and submit your cv don't sit down tell yourself by september i should be walking that's faith by september i should be walking and see whether the god of all flesh will not make it happen lord i have failed but i'm starting again i i see the mistakes i made i don't have any capital now but lord i trust in you if you fall and remain there then you have really failed but if you fall and you still stand up you have not failed are we together everybody say courage shout it courage there is nobody i have watched people in this ministry rise up with no guarantee of anything and today god has honored them you must be courageous joshua was now going to be a leader over several people several people god did not tell him joshua make sure you eat well oh, so that you don't collapse he said be strong and of good courage they will act like fools but be strong you are a leader there is an anointing upon you you watch what we do today by the grace of god and think one uncle just gave money or somebody said i will give you venue or somebody said no nobody gives you any guarantee stop insulting your uncles your aunties your brothers and sisters and say nobody is supporting me let your faith support you let your faith support you are you hearing what i'm saying let your faith support you you had a dream and you saw yourself submitting a CV in Ibadan. Apostle, but I've never gone there. I'd like you to prepare and trust God for grace. Share the idea with two or three people. Carry your CV and go to the park in the night. You are in Kaduna Park. Where are you going? In Ibadan. And see whether God, tear your Bible if you go to Ibadan and God does not back you there. He's waiting for you in Ibadan. He's not waiting for you at the place of disobedience. As soon as you get to Ibadan, in the, in the luxurious that you enter, you will now meet somebody. Where are you going? So it's like I know you somewhere. Ah, your sister's graduation. I was a classmate. Really, where are you staying? The miracle starts. The Bible says, this sign shall follow. If you don't take steps, you will not see signs. Apostle, when will I enter? I, I mean, I need the healing anointing. Must you die before you know you fell under the anointing? You let sick people pass you. Somebody says, I have cancer. And you just say, ah, I remember this cancer is, can, can be transferred. You see, that attitude of unbelief, you will never walk in power. What do you think a miracle service is? A show? No. Nobody starts with mastery. You see how children walk? They start 
and then they start crawling do you stop them from crawling sometimes in a bit to hold the table they hit their head does that mean walking is not possible how the child hits the head you you rub it what do you tell the child sorry sorry means sorry for now continue move again you love that child but you cannot work for the child the person who stops that child from walking is stopping him from becoming an adult are we together i wrote jam five times i didn't get it i will give up are you joking no look at jam and say jam as for me and you one of us will give up one of us will give up i will walk you and weary you where will the money come from don't worry don't worry god is alert and active watching over his word to perform it are you hearing what i'm saying oh apostle i'm of age and i need to move from my parents house now to get a place but uncle did not send the money keep quiet one day you get up and go and buy a bag with the two thousand you have pack your clothes and say daddy just like you advised me i'm on my way going i got one one room somewhere and i'm going he said that one room nothing there's no carpet you say sir if i don't leave i will not become a man like you if i don't leave i will continue for as long as i come back and i can go to the kitchen who had part of my yam you are still a child you need to push yourself and you stand up and while you are moving god is saying watch this the angels are backing you do not know all of a sudden the moment you get there some brothers from your fellowship will come and god will speak to somebody buy him a rock the first time you are experiencing miracles by yourself not in partnership with another person's faith your faith is growing and you begin to see that god is faithful for yourself uh, apostle i think i need a job before i move out of my father's house how was your father when he moved out of his own father's house very fearful people very fearful people hallelujah i teach responsibility but you must conquer fear you get out and you stay in that room it's raining and water is dropping on you from that one room and you are just imagining the ac that is in your own house exactly that's what made moses a savior pushed him out and as that rain is dropping it drops and does something to your brain and you say no more i can't live like this i'm seeing the reality of irresponsibility glaring before me the very next day you will sell two clothes and buy one book you are making progress and sit down you go and get financial dominion part one two three and sit down next time you hear people are fasting you don't say they are just see do you know why many of us don't take action we have been reaping the harvest of many people's seeds you think it's your faith that is working the proof that your faith is working or not leave all the support and stand alone then you will know whether you really have faith are we together there are people who don't know how to trust god there's this song in my heart my trust is in you you know the song sam help me just that one song one minute i want you to sing that song because i believe god is speaking to somebody you know the song i'm talking about lion of judah my trust is in you ancient of days my trust is in you I put them on you. Say, my trust is in you. Let this song I put them on you. you. Say, my, my trust is in you. Oh, and I am a Judah. My trust is in you. The ancient of days. My trust is in you.
Jesus is in you. Hallelujah. Listen, sit down. Anyone who is jobless here, I'm talking specifically to the brothers. Sisters, you, you are coming, but let me speak to the brothers. If you are jobless here, jobless does not mean civil service. Jobless means stream of income. You are not doing anything and you are not serious. I want you to know that God is talking to you tonight. Take action. Brothers, shout, I take action. Say it again. Someone has got to push you. And some of our parents love us too much to push us. Oh, I'm a graduate. Go and open a barbing saloon. The money you have can buy three clippers. I open it in the name of Jesus. Package a little seed and come and drop it in corn. Not for me. It's a principle. You know it. Go and open the barbing saloon. Are we together? Yes. There are many lazy people moving around. You may not be a millionaire, but from that little God will honor you. Tell yourself, I cannot wait until the day somebody tips me. Everybody that passes you, you are waiting and hoping they drop something. When will you start blessing others? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Challenge yourself. Challenge yourself. Can three people come and take action and say there is no ice cream making machine in Zaria? Three of us, let's come together. How much do you have? 500,000. How much do you have? 200,000. How much do you have? 100,000. Let's have an agreement. Let's get one of these shops and make one of the top ice cream machine machines around. You make it the first 20 people free. You launch it. Come and collect a bottle of oil here. Shake I will pray on it with all my heart. You drop it on that shop, it will be like jam. Hold on, don't shout. You have never done it. How many times have I spoken about it here? Listen, listen. Action takers are the ones who move forward. You graduated 10 years ago. You submitted your CV twice. And it's because they told you. Who do you want to spoon feed you with a job? Stand up and take action. Fail honorably and come. I will hug you. I will pray for you. And you will go back. You are learning how to walk. You are learning how to walk. Everybody say, I will rise again. I'm speaking to people who tried rising. And then you went down. And Christians are usually the ones who say, take it easy. Take it easy. Yeah? This, this decoration. How many people get married in Zaria? You just went to go and spend 200,000 to go and buy all this. Look at the, how many ribbons. You know, you even say you want to do can canopy. You better don't destroy yourself. And all of a sudden, you see somebody will come. And just when he's opening the canopy, that's when God is bringing explosion to another church. And they'll say you are the one who is supplying this. Look at those who supply canopies. Imagine if those who supply these canopies now are here in Koinonia. Every week, even if you don't do any other business again, yet you are sitting down buying fake things, fake whatever, to prove levels that you have not gotten to. Challenge yourself. The law of faith. You must take action. I have taken bold steps in my life. Bold steps in my life. The word trust in the Lord. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. Is from the word bata. It means throw yourself like you pick one of these are little ones. You see how these my children come to greet me after service. Some of them just run and just fly and expect that I hold them. If I don't hold them, it's still me that will pay for it. Correct? A child runs to the father. You gave birth to me. I didn't ask you. I fly. Pick me. That's what you do to God. When you take action, you put pressure on God's integrity. Lord, you said this. You said it is, it is, it is, um, what about any man that cannot cater for his family is worse than an infidel. I'm a married man with three children. Lord, I am tired of allowing, waiting for my wife to come back with 20,000. And that's what we're all feeding from. These children cannot go to school. Lord, I receive grace to take action. I will go and seek advice. I will go and receive prayer. I will receive an impartation, but I will take action. The anointing can come upon you. But you must take action for it to work. When did you ever lay hands on somebody to be healed? 
oh let me run to prayer department benga or let me run to promise or oh, anybody let me run to any of the people oh let me run to this i think i'm hungry let me run to the welfare mama please ma you too you know the way nigeria is that if you if you don't challenge yourself you will never rise you need to take action take action take action tell yourself no i'm going to be responsible lord i trust you lord i believe you there are many of us who have never sown a seed do you know why because of fear never sown it god cannot even tell you to empty your account yeah, 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 yeah. you will bind bind and cast and curse and say let this voice never speak to me again that's why you can never rise i'll never forget a time the lord gave me an instruction to sow everything over 80 percent of all my clothes aside from what i did in Port Harcourt. And I just carried those things. When I sold them, it was as if I would die. Now, I live. If God tells me to empty my account and empty my life and everything, I will do it gladly because I know him. I know him. Not because I like it. Not because it's convenient. When you know God, then you'll be able to take certain steps. Are we together? Yes. Listen. The workers in this ministry start dressing, arranging chairs and canopies way before people come. Did anybody sign an agreement that by evening all the overflows will be full? It takes faith. We believe what God has said. We believe that we are adding value. And so in the morning, people start preparing. Imagine that you wait until people come. Then you now say, oh, there are plenty of people today. Oh yeah, let's go. Do you know that every space you give God is what he feels? You have not taken action. That's why. Your shop is still small and you are there. God has been prompting your spirit. Move to a bigger one and you say, Ah, God, don't mock me. So you will never see the miracle. The law of faith. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 15. God is speaking to someone tonight. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 15. Ah, this thing I've shared it has fired my spirit. And so, everybody read. Talking about Abraham. Read on. And so, after he had patiently endured, did what? Lion of Judah, my trust is in you. Over my destiny, my trust is in you. Help me, sir. Lion of Judah, my trust is in you. Sing that song with understanding. Put them on you. Say, my trust is in you. Ancient of days, my trust is in you. Oh, I am that I am. My trust is in you. Oh, I put them on you. My trust is in you. I say, I put them on you. My trust, my trust is in you. It takes faith to begin to prepare for five children when you are not yet in a relationship. I'm preparing. Oh, I don't want to waste my time. Who will come and marry me? Let the guy come first. When he comes and I'm sure the day he ever says, I will go and see your parents. I will read like never before. You will never marry that way. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Oh, five children are going to come out from this womb. You take a step of faith. You have not entered any relationship. Who knows me? Look at that foolish question. What do you mean who knows me? God? The God you serve? You lay your hands, shape. You are bringing five children from this womb and they will all be a blessing. No giving birth to armed robbers. No giving birth to terrorists. I will not give birth to a son who will kill me because of trouble. You are preparing. You go and buy a book in advance. The power of a praying wife. You go and buy a book. God tells you you marry a man of God. You don't wait until a preacher comes. He may marry you as a civil servant and after five years God calls him into ministry. God didn't lie but you didn't prepare. God told you you are going to be a millionaire and you are waiting and say, God, when you said I'm going to be a millionaire, my palm sanders, everything I have home and abroad is 10,000. I can sell all my clothes for 20,000. That's foolish thinking. You go and buy a book. Lord, you have called me into kingdom financing. You told me I'm going to mentor and raise a generation and bless people. You do it. 
pictures around put a picture on your laptop that represents your future and every time you see it you prophesy i may be small now but in the name of the lord jesus i have no father i have no support but i'm coming i'm coming i trust the name of the lord i may be weak i may not be able to explain to people i'm doing something they may even say you are lazy what are you always doing in a room why are you always sitting down and you say i'm building my mind they say what is mine are we going to eat mine just continue the day god honors you then you will stand and sing this song that we are singing tonight i believe that there is an anointing on this song this night that people have to trust god take action trust god it takes faith to be great it takes faith to have a healing ministry nobody gives you a guarantee that anybody will be healed it takes faith to be a man of god it takes faith to be a businessman it takes faith to be a wife and a mother you are not allowed to have a child ordinarily before marriage so how do you know you are fruitful it takes faith lion of judah my trust is in the ancient of days my trust is in you oh i am that i am my trust is in you there are people who will never build a house in their lives many of our fathers their salaries were 150 now they are retired there is no house you know why because of fear i will build it one day i don't have enough money then god granted you grace they created one scheme in your job and gave everybody land four plots of land is more than enough to build a family house mostly their wives will tell them honey build build time is going this how much is the money there's one money i'm expecting it will come tomorrow god say you have hundred thousand it can bring one tip of sand go and bring it and pour it on the side that's faith you are saying lord i'm starting this out the hand of zerubbabel that started when you start god begins to move people i remember the first day we bought equipment i remember one by one one by one i remember when i started buying you know not even just for ministry for myself to think and say one day i'll get a laptop is a joke a laptop who gives you the money see hear me this god is a good god worship team told us already this god is a faithful god but while you are waiting for him i don't know who i'm speaking to this night God is saying, I'm tired of waiting for you. Take a step. 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 Who told you the business will fail? Take a step. Are we together? Take a step. Ah, I have one million naira now. I'm thinking of starting small poultry. I'm thinking of getting a little golf. But I hear that these cars used to spoil a bee and that your profit doesn't come out. So you will remain there until the day somebody comes. Usually, those kind of people will sit down and then something will happen. You will carry 100,000 from it. Something will happen. They will invite you for one event that doesn't have head and tail. And they will massage your ego. And you will know when you carry 300,000. On behalf of me and my wife, I donate this money. And the money has finished. And you will never be successful. Success systems. The law of faith. Every great man walks on water every great man walks on water it is your faith that turns that water to concrete we are going to sing this song one more time and then i'll go to the next law but i want you to sing it with understanding i have trusted men they have failed me i have trusted systems i trusted my certificate it failed me lord i lift my eyes and i trust in you you are the one who can wipe my tears my uncle promised me and disappointed me many have concluded that because i finished with the past there is no greatness that's what the devil wants to do all the time to make you not trust god but i'm challenging men of faith lion of judah my trust is in you My trust is in you. I am that I am. My trust is in you. I say in my family, Lord. My trust is in you. Say, I put them on you. Say, my trust is in you.
Psalm 89 verse 17 The law of favor Lord I pray that somebody will get this In the name of Jesus I pray that somebody will get this Psalms 89 verse 17 For thou art the glory of their strength And in thy favor Shall our horn be exalted Favor is the number one reason people succeed favor is the number one reason the number one reason why you will succeed is favor you need favor to achieve your goals and dreams you need favor to achieve your goals and dreams it is impossible to get to the place of destiny without favor no sir you've heard people say that one day of favor is worth a lifetime of labor it is hardly an exaggeration one day of favor is worth a lifetime of labor Many people do not have favor in their lives. Why? Because they are not taught what favor is and how to release favor in their lives. Those who are even taught favor are only taught one side of favor. And it's like whenever you say favor, we leave it unto God. God just favor us now. No. There is an exact equation that leads to favor. Favor is not a miracle. Write it down. Favor is a reaction favor is not a miracle favor is a reaction you can program favor in your life a reaction means that it is a response favor is a reaction it's not a miracle favor miracles can happen and do happen but favor is not a miracle What is favor? Let's define favor. Favor is when someone is willing to invest their life, their time, their resources, their credibility to help you achieve your goals. That's favor. When somebody is willing to participate in your success, it's called favor. When someone is willing to invest their life, invest their credibility, invest their money, invest their knowledge into you to help you achieve your goals, it's called favor. Favor is not just unmerited access. That's a very limited thinking, limited teaching, limited definition. And it's the reason why, let me tell you, whether it is merited or unmerited, favor is access calling it unmerited alone is very limited favor can be merited favor can be merited your obedience and understanding the bible says good understanding secures favor favor can be merited what is favor someone willing to sacrifice Their resources to help you succeed. All 
success are related to favor all success whether all kinds of success financial success ministry success business success marital success they are directly related to favor all success testimonies you want to write all success testimonies are related to favor i have heard so many success testimonies there is not one of them that is not related to favor there is a gap in that testimony all success testimonies are related to favor are you learning something write this down who likes you matters in your success who likes you matters in your success brothers and sisters one man called Ahasuerus hated one one woman and her entire life crumbled just because one person of influence hated her are we together the same man who hated one woman and destroyed her entire life turned and loved Esther and her life changed overnight from a village girl to a queen who likes you matters now many Christians think it doesn't matter I don't care who likes me or who doesn't like me if you are speaking in terms of dependence on God I understand that context but in terms of channels to release favor is a joke who likes you matters there are people listening to me from Joss we came back from Joss and um, while I went to minister in Joss you know part of the system of honor for me there was a little girl lovely lady and that they gave this thing they put on the neck and flower you know just to greet me and as soon as I got into the hotel there were people lined up and the little girl was standing and then you know would come you know recite I didn't even know what she was saying you know you are welcome to so -so and so and so and then put that thing and then gave me and I looked at the lady and I fell in love with that dear girl instantly and I told her I said Do you know what you are my friend when I came on stage I made sure that they looked for her 10 years old and she stood because I liked her not because I know her I just liked her the next day I said they should bring her to the hotel we would drive together it was together I was gisting with her and I looked at the lady and I said I want to do something for you I want to do something for your family please bring your mother I want to see her now the rest is history but that little girl's life changed in two days simply because somebody liked her do not let anyone lie to you that who likes you does not matter i don't mean who wants to sleep with you who likes you likes you like from heaven likes you to change your life let me tell you the truth listen 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 take what i'm saying very seriously don't just laugh listen who hates you also matters when your boss hates you you will know that it matters because your life will be miserable you may be tongue talking but your boss hates you ah do you know this lady has been serving actively it's time to promote her I, I just hate her please another time and that another time is after three years but there's somebody they can like you as ah, has this person not been in this office for up to two years they say, yes sir. i thought it's three three years I, say, can I change the policy somebody like daniel and could not sleep in the night because some people manipulate a king stop sleep because he liked daniel early in the morning he got up by himself oh daniel has your god been able to deliver you daniel said i'm alive he said bring all those people daniel didn't say please can you help me punish these people the king said me bring them throw them kill all of them somebody because he likes you can fight your enemies for you enemies you don't have capacity to fight somebody can like you and put himself inside your situation what is going on here sir they want to collect our land our father is dead we are only two say no way i'm a lawyer come and meet me in my office i'm a lawyer i'm a senior advocate what did the person say because of that we will charge him to court he will not only return the land he will give you part of the money for the foundation i know what to do let's go and you are seated somewhere and you see people building a house you know nothing about because somebody liked you who likes you can change your life write this down one person can open a hundred doors of opportunities for you 
one person one man one person in your life showing you favor can open a hundred doors of opportunities first samuel 16 verse 22 please give it to us quickly first samuel 16 verse 22 jesus thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you and saul sent to jesse saying let david i pray thee stand before me why for he had found favor in my sight go and tell that boy's father bring me that smelly boy regardless of what it is let me tell you when you find favor before a man regardless of what your limitations are they are ignored to bless you you are responsible for activating the flow of favor in your life now this is coming as a shock to many of us write it down we're getting deeper now you are responsible for activating the flow of favor in your life if one day god will bless me it's a joke you are responsible for activating the flow of favor in your life the bible tells us in first samuel chapter 2 verse 26 that samuel grew in favor with god and with men first samuel chapter 2 verse 26 2 26 and the child samuel grew on and was in favor both with what the lord and also with men listen it is one thing to have favor with god it is an entirely different thing to have favor with men i know so many people who have favor with god but they don't have favor with men luke chapter 2 verse 52 same thing was said about jesus luke chapter 2 and verse 52 and jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with god and with men a man can increase in favor with god and favor with men the number one reason for the hardship in people's lives is lack of favor lack of favor i have seen gifted people who don't have favor i have seen blessed people in terms of abilities i have seen gifted architects no door of favor gifted engineers gifted doctors gifted students no favor i have seen gifted men have you seen men who are gifted they do work for you and you are like my god and you are at this level i know people who know everybody known yet there's no favor in their life you know that they know senate president they know one the chairman of their local government the governor's friend is their father's friend and they have they will show you the numbers of people if i show you look at this is saraki's number this is dogara's number in fact do you know that when i was staying in lagos there was a day that osimba Jo came to our house i know him oh and there's no favor they watch everybody on tv ah that's ambassador abc you remember in 1971 no favor no favor to be gifted is not enough you need favor you need men to partner with your life this ministry by the grace of god is rising not just in terms of finances because of favor favor my life today is is a humbling testimony of god's favor Psalms 102 verse 13. Psalms 102 verse 13. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Joshua Selman. Why? For the time to favor him. Yea, the set time. There is a set time for favor. And everyone prophesy to yourself, say, this is my set time say it again this is my set time turn it into a prayer in one minute lord this is my set time when promise came here he said pray tired of hardship hardship is different from poverty a hard life 
a life unassisted by men a life unassisted by helpers is a sign of lack of favor you can have money and not have favor when you pay for everything by yourself you don't have favor now is the time of God that you arise the set time the set time hallelujah how many of you believe that from this night favor will begin to follow you yes I don't share my testimonies do you know why because many people misunderstand my testimonies when I share testimonies most people not you but maybe most people will think it is um, it is pride you are boasting what does he think he is if I share with you testimonies of these ministries what does he think he is but sometimes it's good to encourage people testimonies are ways that let people know God is at work but because we live in a cynical world every time you speak people think you are bragging listen let me tell you brothers and sisters God is my witness and ask everybody who is close to me I only fund less than 20 percent of my life ex expenditure everything almost everything in my life is paid for by men everything everything now you can have the money to pay for it by yourself we are not the same you are not assisted are we together most people think having money is all there is to favor no the ability to have men stand up and say promise I am determined to make you succeed if you don't believe that thing there's no need for a comment for koinonia this night I looked at certain things in the body of Christ and I looked at certain men I looked at certain ministries and I saw tearsome testimonies of favor their life revolved as they wanted it was as if there was a charm anyone who saw them bless them one of the greatest people let me tell you I am convinced I received the impartation of favor directly from Dr. Mike Modok I knew when it came upon my life you know why he's a man that is greatly criticized in the body of Christ because of seed 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 and all of that I may not necessarily believe everything but I saw uncommon favor on common a favor like a charm and while others were grumbling i said lord this man is an apostle of wisdom he is the gift of god to the body he represents a spiritual system that controls wisdom and the bible says with me wisdom now are riches wealth and honor durable riches and righteousness he said by me kings reign and princes decree justice and i said lord this thing must happen in my life at that time you don't ever see somebody say god said i should do this god said i used to think those things were just stories you know when i think about my life today i almost want to shed tears you know why because I am a product I am if you are ever looking for a man who answers that name Ebenezer that a man that God has helped God lifted your hands that's why when I worship God I I, I, I do it I live a very happy and a very peaceful life because I found the key to God's favor there is no time in my life when I lack men to rise and assist and defend this ministry you see we are not just fearfully blessed just because of tithes and offerings the ministry of men strange dimensions of favor that I begin to share with you many of you will be afraid how do they get money we are not herbalists favor when you access these laws it will change you overnight together I'm wetting your appetite and then I'm going to teach you quickly while I begin to teach them just bring the vessels and then we'll pour the oil 
because what is coming upon you tonight is the grace for favor i want you to believe it there is such an impartation upon a man for favor father please let your people believe you please please let your people believe you if you don't believe this you will pay for it i promise you there are times for months months i never go to the atm i even forget that i have an atm there is no 24 hours no 24 hours that somebody does not bless me no 24 hours i can give you my phone now and you can check from when i sat down till now a lot upon a lot how they got my account number i don't know brothers and sisters there are properties that have been given to me today i don't know where it is i've not gone there to see it do you believe in favor? I shared with you last year about the gold mine. 18.7 hectares of a gold mine given for nothing. Three kings came together and said we must make sure he has it. It is not by might. It is not by power. Are we together? There are tailors that sew my clothes aside from one I have never, aside from another again, two really. One, a cousin to Reverend George Adeboe of Rema. He may even be listening now with his wife. Every time I travel to Lagos to a particular church for a meeting, there he comes with his wife. Materials upon materials. Favor. There are bags full of gifts I have not opened since they came. I don't even know what is there. Who told you favor does not work? There are mysterious people who have sent a lot in millions to this ministry. Nobody knows who they are. They didn't even call to say, I am so, 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 and so. What makes you think there is no favor? <laughs>
almost every day apostle i saw something do you like it there is a woman here i don't know if she's here i wish you were here i would have said she should stand up yesterday after school of ministry i was at the back and a gentleman just came trusting god i think he's here and you know just felt he wanted to sow something and just held some very serious amount dropped it now i see these things all the time and i thank god but it was a woman's testimony that blessed me i saw her with a big bag some of you who were a big um, bucket a small bucket and i said madam what is this she came with her son do you know what she said she said man of god i was having a dream and in that dream you said you wanted to eat chinchi and the mother the woman got a bucket full of chinchi and came yesterday it is still it is still i've not even opened it to see what is there Chinchi. favor favor day and night day and night day and night this is the only way you can succeed and accelerate your life any other thing you will cry and weep and hate people that's why we cannot give because after sweating so much for 50,000, will you really be able to give it? Are we blessed? Testimonies. There is no place and there is no day that I wake up. I wake up every day. May God forgive me if I'm lying. There is no day I don't wake up in the morning with text messages, with recharge cards and bank alerts. Every day, including today, without fail. This is how I live. Because I found from scripture that he daily loads us with benefits. Sometimes I can be sitting down and see a conga van. You ask the boys that work for me. A conga van, bam, just stops. Somebody has ordered something and paid for it. Put my address. And they are offloading these things. And I'm saying, God, what is this? What are you doing to me? And God says, no, you can stop it. You can stop it if you want I'm waiting your appetite to activate this key. Do you really think you can live a joyful life? When you sit down, you really think your salary is what is going to bless you? To be established? Who lied to you? There is a realm of favor. Are we together? I've shared with you the testimony of this ministry. Where a woman, after a program in Lagos, the woman just came, knelt down in front of me, and looked at me and said please the lord led her to give us a land and gave us a land in lekki it's still there i've not been there in years to see it people have called me and said they gave me a land allocated to sell man of god on behalf of our business we put a b c d portion this is for you and i'm saying god what is this they gave us an assignment to develop maybe a 40 50 estates you know houses and all of that a man of god just to let you know that we have three or four units as our own commission and when we are done one of the units is yours and i'm saying what is this you see why i don't share my testimonies because it makes people angry and when it makes people angry they hate most people sit down and say preachers carry people's money tithes and offerings how much how much access access are we together now on on tuesday we're going to kano tomorrow and on tuesday we're going to nigerian immigration services their headquarters where the top leaders of Nigerian immigration across the whole nation I have been with them for how many years now I think about four four years we go there every year I talk to them I counsel them the top of the top leaders you don't even enter their office yet for them is a privilege well done sir well done sir that's favor listen listen I'm not teaching you cunningly devised favors favor is not just money men are rising to assist you to succeed after my meeting in Joss, i had a little session for a school of ministry in Joss. and when i was done a lady walked up and gave me something and said please go and give your mother i said hi this thing is still working 
I just met my mother. I said, I met a lady. I don't even know who she is. She said, I should give you. And my mother said, this is what I prayed for. I was ten. I think it was um, a big letter of crayfish. And she said, I should go and give my mother. It is difficult to glorify God when you kill yourself producing the result. There is like Bishop Oyedeko called sweatless triumph. There is such a possibility. If you don't believe it, choose your destiny. But as for me, I have decided that hardship will not age me. I will not sit down and be, I will never come and manipulate you and deceive you. All of you sold to 2,000 Naira so that I can have food to eat. Not when there is a God in heaven. How to activate favor? What is the mystery that controls this thing? Favor is not just unmerited access. What is the key? Jesus. The first key to activating favor is sowing the seed of honor. The first key to activating favor in your life is sowing the seed of honor. Write it down. Honor is the first key. Sowing the seed, not receiving a harvest of honor. You must sow the seed for honor. Because honor is the key for access. When you sow seeds of honor, you begin to activate favor. What is honor? The ability to recognize, the ability to celebrate, and the ability to reward men for their uniqueness. That's honor. Not just the ability to appreciate it in your heart. The ability to recognize. The ability to celebrate. And the ability to reward men for their honor. The seed of honor. I don't mean money. A seed called honor. You sow honor into a man's life there are many people who will never rise in life because of this honor no favor in their life they don't know the difference between a great man and a weak man everybody is the same to them all men are equal and hey, please I don't do all of this no honor many of you don't know why we sow seeds of honor we transport you after koinonia do you know why it's a seed of honor we are programming honor upon the ministry it's not just that we have a lot of money when our elderly people come we don't let them join the queue except they want to they sit down it's a seed of honor when i hug our children here it's a seed of honor my life is a walking seed of honor i have mastered sowing seeds of honor the first key to command unending favor honor honor through conversations honor through your body language honor through your vest your gestures you see an elderly woman and I greet her. Mama, how are you? That's the seed of honor. Oh, she cannot speak English. No problem, Mama. Don't put yourself under pressure. You don't have to know English. Find an interpreter. Seeds of honor. Are we together now? Yes. I sow seeds of honor everywhere. Once you discern difference, you sow that seed of honor. That you are close to an environment of honor does not mean you will have it. You must sow seeds of honor to parents. The entire hamper that was given to me while I was in Jos, they already know I carried it with the wine and everything and I took it home. As I got home, I just dropped it. When my mother heard I was coming to Jos, she said, what do I want? I said, I'm not sure. And she should not do anything. My mother refused and said she must do something. She made chin chin and made chicken. That's my mother. But she has discerned that this is not only my son. This is a man of God. Seeds of honor. That's why honor keeps coming. Honor is not coming because she's my mother. She's walking these principles. Let me tell you, whoever walks it will receive it. Bad manners. Being rude. Dishonor. You are driving favor from your life. You don't treat people well. You treat everybody like a piece of rag. There are men of God who favor stopped in their life when they rose. Because they have no regard for anybody. They receive honor from others. But they don't give honor. So those lower than them. Let me tell you the mystery. Behind stagnation of favor for many men. They keep receiving honor. Those lower than you keep honoring you. But then you yourself don't give honor. 
so you remain there and all of them rise and catch up with your level and even go higher than you then you start saying you people are competing with me abi there's no such thing you refuse to rise because you two are supposed to be rising there are sowing seeds of honor if you keep sowing seeds to me in koinonia whether money or whether whatever and i don't do the same thing you need to see me when i stand before greatness you will not know this the same apostle joshua selma you're talking about if it means me cleaning the shoes i do it with jesus joy honor it's a big secret many of us do not know honor honor i honor the holy spirit with my life i don't just serve him i don't just use him for anointing koinonia honors the holy spirit that's why you see all kinds of signs and wonders we don't ignore his presence it doesn't matter what we are teaching as the worship team whatever happens the holy spirit has unrestrained honor in this ministry that's why we keep seeing signs and wonders that's why we keep seeing him lifting us from place to place every church i have gone to i have honored them honor them not in terms of money necessarily but honor them in terms of treating them well i don't climb anybody's pulpit and violate their doctrinal beliefs regardless of what it is i manage whatever it is they believe and i preach well if their pulpit if it's a church that they are not allowed to jump around and move and stand in one place i stand in one place because it is honor and at the end of it they say wow we found a young man who is anointed there are churches i preach you never hear me pray in tongues once it doesn't mean i don't they do not allow that in the open and then i, I subscribe honor are we together i'm showing you success systems these are the mysteries that people have engaged that has changed their lives honor you must sow seeds of honor number two how do i activate favor consistently not today up and tomorrow down two value we've spoken about it you activate favor in your life when you solve people's problems when your life is committed to solving people's problems providing valuable solutions to them it's drizzling outside please coordinate them if some of them can come in let's let's just come in or they, sh they can get into the the um the canopies thank you so much some of them who can come in you can bring them in but most of them can go to the canopies. God bless you and thank you. Hallelujah. Solving problems. We are blessed as a ministry because we solve problems. As I'm teaching now, I'm adding value to you. Is that true? I'm adding value. Listen, let me tell you something. Your, when you start solving people's problems, you should do honor. Thank you, sir. There are people I've never seen who call me, man of God, I just listened to your message essentials for a glorious relationship you just saved our marriage here is a little seed man of God I just listened to your message financial dominion man of God I just listened to your message why revivals die solving problems the moment you solve problems you show honor and everywhere there is honor I teach that there is favor and everywhere there is favor there are all kinds of rewards including finances So the more valuable you become in solving people's problems. Joseph scheduled a season of favor for himself because he was in the prison and he noticed that the prisoners were not laughing. Dr. Mike Mundo calls wisdom the ability to discern difference. And he saw that their countenance, something was wrong. And he asked them, what is wrong? They were not the ones who came and told him the dream. He said, what is wrong? And he said, ah, okay you have asked let me tell you this is what happened and he interpreted the dreams and it happened value you must begin to solve people's problems they will love you they will honor you you must cry to God for grace to be a problem solver you are either creating problems or solving them you are either creating problems or solving them if some of these chairs are free please let's let's not have people stand they can occupy the chairs god bless you thank you hallelujah number three 
the third key to commanding favor in your life is integrity the third key to activating favor in your life is integrity integrity very very important what is integrity comes from the word integer sameness consistency let me tell you something you're a man of God here listen to me before people begin to bless you and sow into your church or your ministry they will prove your life don't think because you just started ministry people will bless you they will probe your life they will hear testimonies of changed lives and want to watch whether he's like one of them after a life a season of integrity and consistency then they conclude you know let me tell you something hold on many people think that the moment you are anointed you are charismatic people will just be loyal to you like that it's a dream there are many anointed people who have attention but no loyalty. Do you know why? Because people must vet your life and find out that you are worthy of their loyalty. Nobody will be loyal to you like that. Parents will not just ask their children, oh, I don't have a problem with you loving this man of God. Give people a chance to probe your life and clear their doubts. Then they will honor you. Are we together? When we started out in this ministry, most people thought that, you know, we're just joking. Most people thought it was all this young people's thing. And for, for, for years, most people thought I was on serious. It's just all these young guys doing things on campus. It's just these people trying to do something. But eventually, I never was angry with them because every great man must be probed. Saying people should not probe you is a joke. They check your character with ladies. They check your character with money. They check your character with discipline. They see how you manage challenges. They see a lot of it is based on that. They will say, Kai, this man is worth my commitment. We have seen that God brought two naira to his hand and that two naira did not change him. He did not stop preaching the truth just because he's looking for food to eat. This is a consistent man. This man will be my pastor. There are many people roaming around calling everybody son, calling everybody daughter. What investment have you made in their life? You must allow people probe you. You start a business and they suspect whether your product... There are people, when I started out, because of the dimension of the anointing in my life, many people thought, you know, you know, anytime you see somebody walking in unusual levels of the anointing, you may think that maybe some kind of charm or whatever it is. And I used to hear people say it and I say, leave them. Even me, if I attended Koinonia and I watched a man called Joshua Selma, I would think he's holding a charm. And then you watch. There are many people, some of you seated today. Years ago, you would be the last person to be here because you had your differences. Some of you argued it, but with time, now you are some of the strongest people. Do you know there are people in many nations of the world and their assignment is to take koinonia messages. There are whole churches that sit down and what they use for either evening service or midweek service is a koinonia message and they just sit down. There are youth groups, youth fellowships around. You know why? Because they took out time to probe you and when they see integrity, the ability to be unbending regardless of the situations. There are men of God who start teaching and say don't manipulate money from people. But the day they have needs as a ministry, they start bending to that standards. Are we together? Yes. Once people see integrity and consistency, then they make up their minds to listen to anything you say. Listen. Let people probe you until they find a reason to believe you never stop anybody listen if there is anything you are unsure of about my life and this ministry you have a right to sit down and clear your conviction so that you are confident are we together many of you get angry when people suspect you <laughs> how come pastor alpha i've been watching him the way he has been rising in the last three months this guy may have taught something Abba, am I not innocent? Let people probe you so that when they believe you, they will be the greatest defense. I know you. 
there are people to do it they are the ones who are defending this ministry ah no i used to know this brother there was a day he gave me 50 naira he started his giving sins do you know the people who accuse you today will be the ones who defend you tomorrow give them a chance to have a testimony by themselves there are people who think the miracles that we announce here are manipulated or faked simply because they've heard that maybe some churches do a lot of things and they come here and then the person who falls under the anointing is seated close to them they watch it with their own eyes and then eventually their own sicknesses leave and they go back and say wow i have seen for myself integrity the third key to activating favor consistency integrity unbending unbending consistently producing results when we started the school of ministry this is the fifth set now when we started the school of ministry most people thought it was a joke let me tell you something look up please as a man of god let me give you a great advice the moment you are doing too many things and you cannot continue in them men will stop believing you you just get up today and says we have 14 days of fire vigil and then after 12 days okay, we found out that things are happening we are not doing this again there are too many inconsistent people we are going to start koinonia business school and after two weeks nobody comes then you close it when people probe you and they see that you are too erratic you know what it means to be erratic you just come up with programs there's no consistency nobody will submit to such an authority people want to see consistency they want to know that this is who you are they want to know that you can be predictable you never hear anybody come and give testimony here i don't care whether you're a millionaire or whatever i have never gone to the house of anybody in the name of going there to find out and say okay we are some of our top uh, offering givers and tight payers in koinonia i love you so much and uh, i just wanted you to know that we have the following needs no if i've ever come to your house to tell you we have the following needs stand up hallelujah how many men of god have destroyed integrity from their lives they go around harassing church members and look at people and say uh we don't know if god is speaking to you there's a drum set the thing has turned honestly it's embarrassing and you inconvenience people everywhere integrity please bring bring the, the continuous now number four the third the fourth key to activating favor is quality relationships quality relationships favor is relationship dependent that's why i taught you those other laws quality relationship who you know matters it gives you access men can be wings to you men can become wings to you there are people we know today that can speak for us there are people i know today that can speak for me are we together they can make ex exemptions for you you sow seeds of favor seeds of favor and it changes your life forever relationships number five the third key to activating favor is praying favor provoking prayers there are favor provoking prayers the bible says for everyone that asketh receiveth everyone that asketh lord open my heavens cause men to bless me put an anointing upon my life that makes men bless me favor provoking prayers you can pray your way among other things into favor favor provoking prayers many of us don't pray i pray it seriously lord this ministry is a well watered garden people are coming givers are coming my life is a good soil People are sowing into my life as they sow into my life they receive a hundredfold harvest when you sow into a man's life and you receive a harvest nobody will tell you to do it again you will continue doing it again and again and again they sow into your life and nothing happens these are the seeds that you sow and then number six the sixth way of provoking or activating favor in your life is by an impartation from the careers of that anointing an impartation 
of the grace for favor an impartation of the grace for favor from the careers of the anointing this oil is not what anoints you this oil is simply oil when the oil is anointed then it becomes a medium to bless you the oil in itself has to be anointed this is not anointing oil this is oil after the prayers on it it becomes an anointing oil and it can bless you can favor be transferred can that grace the mantle the grace for favor be transferred absolutely there are people in this ministry that are carrying it bodily there are people who have begun to see it in their lives like day and night people call me all the time and say my god apostle this thing works like charm and tonight it will come upon your life what does favor give you in life speed speed what are the benefits of activating favor speed speed something that would take men 10 years can be achieved in three months under an atmosphere of favor What are the benefits of favor number two is is the mystery of ease people like bishop oyedeko will call it sweatless triumph ease where the lines just fall for you in pleasant places and you have a good heritage battles that stand before you while you are preparing to fight them you open the door and find dead bodies favor for your battles favor has fought my battles in life i have seen ah, for the things you have done and the battles you have won only you are worthy of my praise we magnify your name koinonia look at this we are in zaria in the north this whole road this is a major road, but this whole road is blocked every Friday. Every Friday. Go and try to block a road somewhere in the name of service and see what happens to you. Everything works for our favor in this ministry. Everything, regardless of what it is. You try to fight this ministry, you will watch by yourself activating favor and making it happen. You don't fight a man of favor and win it's a waste of time it's like boxing a ball where a man that carries the mantle of favor is untouchable literally untouchable because god will raise help left right and center left right and center left right and center many of our parents have no favor no doors opening for them nothing happening favor Koinonia today is a place of favor. 70% of the people who are blessed by this ministry have never seen me. How do you follow a man when the videos are not even uploaded on YouTube? They don't know the picture. The first and only time certain people have seen me is dreams. Yet you listen to the message, it forces you to look for someone and give him. Whether you like it or not. That's not normal. There are people following scattered across different nations this night. Favor has brought me honor. Favor has brought me glory. I have stood before politicians. I have stood before kings. I have stood before billionaires. I have drunk of their minds and their wisdom for free. Men have given me access, uncommon access, uncommon doors. It still happens all the time and it will not fail. There are people who send me text messages every time. Apostle, is there anything we can do for you? We want to do for you. I don't know how many people in this ministry send text messages every time. We want to wash your car. We want to do something. 
somebody came early in the morning i was sleeping and i had it, it was like there was water splashing on my car and i checked and i saw somebody washing my car by force i know if i ask you you wouldn't agree i said what is this one honestly they even disturb it just washing the car with joy i said now if i drive this person favor favor it is real and it happens we have sown seeds of favor we meet the security people we honor them we bless them the, the nigerian union of road transport workers they come here some i'm sure many of them are outside here with the buses and they are waiting 99 percent of them are not necessarily christians but they love koinonia and they will come and wait and watch the service and watch everything happening no complaint you know why because seeds of honor have been sown seeds of honor has been sown there are so many people we have scattered seeds of honor around look at cgc and the honor that they have shown this ministry i have never seen a ministry with men of god as humble and members that love jesus and truthfully like the members in this church cgc it is true it is true it is from my heart and it is true hallelujah some of the pastors are my fathers and literally those men can see me and just greet like this and i'm wise enough to know that whilst they are sowing seeds of honor i must sow seeds of honor every time people sow seeds of honor sow it back don't receive and wait you receive they have risen but you have remained where you are they will be calling you a superstar but it will be for a short time until they catch up with you somebody blesses you ah um pastor alpha bless you you reciprocate back that way both of you have risen We sow into the lives of mission agencies because we honor what they represent. That's why souls continue to be saved here. David Ibiu, may the Lord ask him to go and meet Billy Graham before he dies. And David Ibiu may travel to America, carried a very huge seed, sowed into the life of Billy Graham. And Billy Graham said a word of prayer for him. He said he came back and preached a very simple message. And about one third of the church came out for altar call he carried something whenever you see consistency there is something tonight you're about to receive an impartation this may be one of the most important days in your life some of you have never had a man of God impart anything upon you you have gone for anointing services some of you have all kinds of oils in your house oil does not anoint the oil is anointed to anoint please as soon as i pray for you make sure you start checking yourself many of you will be shocked it will look like magic maybe we'll take some testimonies here hallelujah in the name of jesus christ every lump in your breast or any part of your body your neck your waist wherever right now I command it to disappear in the name of Jesus I command it to leave be healed right now be healed right now go ahead begin to check yourselves come bring that child can we have the mic please what's, 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 this, what's the issue Help us with the mic, please. He has not been eating. Who brought him? Whose child is this? Where is his mother? If we are calling your child, Mama, please come. Let's save time. Huh? They came all the way from Kano. Yes, I asked them to come. You rejoice because you will know you meet God tonight. Amen. Please, somebody hold this child because you too. Come out of her. Out. Hold this child, please. You are the first to be visited all the way from Kano. That devil, this woman is supposed to die before the end of the year. I curse this spirit out right now. Out of her with a loud shout, you are going. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What's wrong with the child? 
He has not been eating. So we take him to the Why did he have all this abnormality? The so, doctors, Madam, look at me. You are delivered. I don't know what it is that runs through your leg, but I'm seeing light, power of God. Hallelujah. What happened to your child? Talk to us, please. Let's save time. I gave back to him normal. It was normal when I gave back to him. Okay. So when it was four months, we discovered that the front was enlarging. So we went to hospital after the scanning. They said that there is water in the head. That water came. Water? Yes. That's hydrocephalus. So we need doctors. Who is a doctor here? Undergo operation. Not student doctor. Eh? Okay, come. Thank you. Sir. What? They say hydrocephalus. What's that? Hydrocephalus is accumulation of water in, in the furnaces of the brain. Okay, what does it what does it lead to this? Yes. It will keep on enlarging until the capacity of the bone is able to contain it. So the bone itself we keep on enlarging and the sinuses that is the sutures we keep on expanding does it have a medical cure um, the only medical cure is to drain the water but even as at that I don't think it has a medical cure for this purpose was the son of God made manifest <laughs> that he might destroy the works of you see the bible says from the beginning it was not so this is nonsense are you listening to me and our job is to bring everything back to the obedience of christ hallelujah father in the name of jesus we pray this demonic you did not create look at me come back Leave her, leave her, leave her, leave her. Don't talk to her. She will come back. You will come back with a testimony. This child's head will start reducing. Are you hearing me? This child, it supernaturally, you will see it go back. Are you listening to me? Hold on, I know. I'm seeing a girl, baby girl my first daughter i lost her where is she she's dead she's dead that's what i said the spirit of death you would have died before the end of the year because i'm seeing a baby girl mm -hmm. and then i didn't see her again where's your husband he's in Canada. get ready a baby girl is coming again huh? are you listening to me yes I have three boys. I just gave birth. It was still a boy. I was not happy. That's what I'm telling you. Did, did you discuss this with me? Did you discuss no, this with me? No, Please, no. if I don't call any case, don't start bringing people I'm out. Please. You for the first please. Time but let her come out. If we, if, if we don't call cases, please, we are taking this. I'm, I'm meeting you for the first time. That's what I'm saying. Knowing me is not important. It's the Lord Jesus Christ whom you know. He will come back here and give a testimony Amen. of a baby Amen. girl. Amen. All right, the flame of death. And tell your husband where is he working? He worked with the school. He and then what happened? He's still working. He's still working there. Yes. That's not where he's supposed to be. Huh? We take him to the rightful place. Amen. Where God will bless him because this this has been a financial challenge. This is issue of money. Yes. Yes. Is that true? Yes. But you people too are not very faithful in tithing, so you must have been faithful in tithing. Huh? Did you discuss it with me? No. You will tithe one today because of an emotional message. The only way God knows. You open the door for Satan. Hmm? Madam, you will go back with favor. Amen. I release upon you that grace for favor. Amen. You came with them. What's wrong with his ears? Uh, they took him to the hospital. He was... He it's still as a result. It's as a result of all of these things. It's connected. Don't worry. As God is taking him back, there will be complete restoration. Yeah. Hmm? Your son will not. You will come back here with testimonies. Yeah. Who are you? You know them, or you're from Kano too? My elder sister. Your elder sister. Yes, Tell sir. me one thing you want the Lord to do for you. To heal. Think well. 
not him, you. Don't just talk carelessly. I'm not. Not many people will have the opportunity to be asked this question. Let me tell you. Please. To help my family with open doors of favor. Where's your father? My father is late. Where's your mother? Behind them. No, no, no. I'm not saying she should come out. Okay. She's sitting behind You are a student? Yeah. I finished my secondary school tonight, so I've been writing jams. Since this is what you would have asked. This is why I asked you. That's what I was praying for you. Eh? You have your relatives here, people who know you, who are also praying for you. Hold my hands. Get into the university in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever the problem is, we cancel it here right now. I don't care what it is. We admit you into any university of your choice in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is your number one desire. God will locate your family. Bless you. Where is please? Who brought this woman? Please, if we don't call your case, we are going to we are going to deal with this. If not, we'll have this place very rowdy now. Who brought this woman? Why you come now? Who brought her? No, no, don't worry, don't worry. What's wrong with her? Brain problem. Brain. She lost her memory. She lost her memory. She's lost her memory. She doesn't know you now. Ah. What happened? Don't know. I'm just her house help. Oh, you are just her house help. Come and hug me. Look at this girl. Many house helps. This is the time to plunder and run away, Pastor. May God turn you from a house help to a great woman. This is your own blessing this night. Hallelujah. This is terrible. Thank you, Jesus. That devil of darkness, he will let this woman go. I bring you life. Life to these dead cells, dead brains. In the name of Jesus. Stand up. Stand up. You look at me. Just look at me. Just look at me. Just try to look at me. Come back to miracle. Find somewhere and keep this noise again. Sweetheart, I pray for you. May the Lord visit you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody brought somebody brought a very sick person. for them but the Lord is showing me you brought somebody is this a sick person who is that person inside or outside please let's save time more God really wants to visit people and we don't want to waste unnecessary time here he will come back with testimonies for this woman it's terrible hallelujah the Lord is showing me someone literally feel as though they put pepper in your eyes when you look at light like this it burns you seriously this thing started this year who is that person please who is that person who is that person oh is she the okay come Who brought her? Mama? Does she, can I speak English or does she want her? Son? Come now. Why are you afraid? Huh? What's, what's the issue? Diabetes. 
diabetes is affecting her eyes. I will pray for her. Tell her I will pray for her and the Lord will heal her. Is she hearing? Is she here? Mama, I will pray for you right now. This is a spirit. Be healed of diabetes right now. I come against that foul spirit. Check herself. Find out that there's no diabetes again. You, you came for yourself. What's wrong with you? Um, it's not about sick. Okay. I need marriage and. Uh, you want to get married? Go straight to the point. Look, let me tell you something. If we ask you to come out here and we and you are just talking stories, you go back to your seat. Praise God. This is this is a family. Nobody is against marriage here. Is that true? If you came here for marriage, when we are praying, receive it. Don't say my neighbor will look. You don't want to get married. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at me. Did you hear the testimonies of the marriage? Sir? The marriage yes, testimonies. Yes, Do you believe God is still at work in this place? Yes, sir. Hold my hands. Are you in a relationship? You need to be delivered first before marriage. Hmm? I release you from this curse. This is what has been holding her back. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. We'll come back with testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I want to pray for supernatural marriages. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Some of you will need to outside. Are you, can you hear me outside? You can stand for yourself or for your family members. I want to pray. Make sure the person you want to get married to is of the opposite sex. Hallelujah. Can I pray for you? Please believe the Lord. Because one of the things that has been happening in this place is supernatural inexplainable the hand of God lift your hands hmm. in the name that is above all names now there are some of you as I pray you see some of you what is stopping you is the hand of darkness for a few people not everybody because I'm seeing spirits the moment I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost, the hand of God will come upon some people. Hallelujah. It will come upon them in a mighty way. That's what is stopping the marriage. Lift your hands. Not everybody you can receive, but there are some people, this is what they need. Hallelujah. When I say in the name of Jesus, I just wanted to shout, I receive. The moment you say that God will visit some people, I see God touching two ladies outside on this. This this marriage thing, we must deal with it this night. How many of you believe it? In the mighty name of Jesus. Now that devil of darkness that is responsible for delay in marriages. Come out right now. Come out right now. Come out right now. That devil of darkness. 
that is responsible the power of god is falling that devil there are spirits that are responsible for delay come out 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 these are demon spirits out in the name of jesus the lord rebuke you the lord rebuke you marital delay the lord rebuke you i tell you god is setting people free marital delay as is happening marital delay marital delay is a yoke of bondage outside the fire of god is visiting a few people all those above 30 30 and above who have not gotten married ladies let god visit you now i release that fire the fire of the Holy Ghost the fire of the Holy Ghost let there be testimonies of supernatural marriages this row I see an angel standing there is one lady the power of God will come upon you strong that devil of darkness enough is enough just this row because I see the angel of the Lord standing Lord let that person come out the Holy Ghost will bring you out you will come out you will come out you will come out by the power of the Holy Ghost leave her alone she will come out no. Hallelujah. I want to curse barrenness. Are you listening to me? Now is the time to stand for your loved ones, for yourself. Some of you lived all kinds of reckless past lives. As you are standing now, you may not even have a womb. A new one will come upon you. When God forgives sins, He forgives consequences. I don't care what the biological complication is. I like you to receive. You will come back with testimonies. Hallelujah. Now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That curse of childlessness. In the name of Jesus. I set you free. I set you free. I set your loved ones free. I set you free. Any barren person in this place, any barren family in this place, ma ta 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 ta, re ke te te te, re ke te te te, re ke bo shoto, bato ko bo te ke, re ke te bo so ko to ba, le ke bo riata, ma pre ke te 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 te, e ke bo ro to pa ka ta. You will come back with miracle children. You will come back with miracle children. Your loved ones will come back with miracle children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray for a few people. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God is showing me some people. You've been so you are an adult, but you don't know what happens. You've been suffering from bedwetting. You wake up in the morning and you find out that you are easing yourself on your bed. There's, no, there's nothing to be embarrassed. Man. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You are that kind of person. Come and stand out here quickly. Forget about who is watching you. Nobody has that time. Let me tell you. There are people like that, a devil of darkness inside and outside this is a this is a demonic issue there are people low oh, there are people don't be afraid don't be ashamed 
It's a spirit. It's not just about discipline. You can't stop it with discipline. I don't know why God is visiting that situation. Hallelujah. Let's take the next case. I'm seeing problems with your heart. Whether hole in your heart or any form of asthmatic condition. Please come out quickly. Hole in your heart or asthmatic condition. Please let's save time. That devil is a liar. I've, I had an accident. After the accident, they said my heart will enlarge and there is uh, infection. It will, it will go back. Amen. Be free right now. Amen. Heart, return to your normal condition. Infection, go. In the name of the Lord Jesus. As I lay hands on you, whatever the issue is, you will be healed of it. Whether heart, asthma, be free right now. Please make sure you are coming out for the case we have mentioned. What are you coming out for? Feeling a hole in my heart. Always, ever since I suffered from ulcer. After Did the, the doctors service, tell you? Yes. After the treatment. The also that's been disturbing me, but it's just for a while. But that whole sister, come, God will visit you. This has nothing to do with Ulsa. Hmm? Where's your you have an elder sister? Yes, where is she? She's in Abuja. Is she married? Yes, what was she doing? She's married, but the first child she gave birth to it has been a problematic child, but. This is six years now. She has not stepped her feet on the on the ground, and she has not started talking. And Am all I this why she has not given birth at all. Lay one hand on your chest. See, whatever is happening to one person here is happening to you too. Are you listening to me? You must believe it. This lady with yellow. That lady, you, 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 no, no, don't come out. Just lift your hands where you are. Both of your hands now, are you pledging? Look at me. Father, visit this girl. The Lord is showing me something about her. Lord, visit this lady. Set her free. It's like a mighty rushing wind. That spirit will not stand. It's looking like a knife is going through you. Set her free, Lord. What's wrong with you? Lay your hands there. Since when? Just lay your hands and look at me. Don't worry. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Heart. Okay, just hold my hands as I pray for you. You'll be free. Be free in the name of Jesus. Oh, we love God very well. What of you is not true. How true is it? 
É? Deixa eu ver se é o true it is. Don't be sitting. I break this addiction from your life. Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? Why did you say it's true? Because I believe in you. Ah. You do. Amen. Let it not corrupt your Christian testimony. God is not just visiting you but your family. You are in for it with God this night because it's, it's multiple. Some families have put some people in trouble they don't know. Parents in their innocence have gone to do things in a bid to try to help the of Jesus Christ. They may hope be free. This is what is happening. This thing is all the way from Lagos. This is God setting this lady free. Sometimes we do things. Parents, be careful. You go to places and do things believing you are helping your children. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. I release you in the name of Jesus Christ because God wants to use you in your mighty healing ministry. Be healed in the name of Jesus. My brother, God is calling you this night. When I make the altar call, before I finish, just run and come and stand here. Right? This is your night. Eh? There is no issue of running to God and then... God brought you because we love you. Okay? You deserve You deserve You deserve The lifting of my You deserve You deserve Just walk with me. You deserve. Don't be looking at me. Don't worry. what this means this is confusion and this is why god is telling me this is how your life is that's why i held you and i was walking god wants to set you free from serious confusion you are easily deceived anybody can tell you anything and that's why i was moving around this does not this is confusion you get easily deceived anybody just say anything and you believe can i pray for you Hold my hands, both of your hands. Hmm. Satan, it's time up for you with this lady. Foul spirit. You will let this lady go, release her. You can't stand it. I've seen you in the spirit. God is against you. This demonic thing must leave you. So pakapata, rekete bola kuso preti kadebos. That you will have a strong heart. The Bible says, "Be wise as serpents." 
What are you here for, my sister? Oh, while you were praying, you saw yourself on the ground. You decided to come and report yourself. <laughs> what do you think God is doing? Just stretch your hands like you're receiving something. Look at me. Truly, you will receive something. Just look at me. And suddenly, you become heavy because you are receiving spiritual things. <laughs> you can't hold it. It's too heavy for you. For you and for all your family members, may God visit you. God is not done with you. There is a fire that will burn you. The same thing will be happening to your family members. You need to be free. You love God, but there are all kinds of encumbrances. This night, this one is not just deliverance. This one is God catching you finally for Him. Lord, take over her whole life from head to toe. Take over everything you can take over in this lady's life. Cares, go. Cares, go. Cares, go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray. Just leave her out because she's not recovering soon. This one is not just deliverance. God is taking, I have found my servant David. This is what is happening. When God finds a man, he doesn't leave you easily. He makes sure that you rise up with a hunger that nothing else. I trust God that this will happen to many people in this place. Tonight. Because I tell you, pastor, a lot of people are in certain situations because they love God but they have cares. So they, are, they, are, they easily become praise. It's not enough to, to be healed or to be delivered. Your heart must be with God for you to walk in sustainable victory. Many people like miracle service. They just run and come and take a miracle and then they run away. But let me tell you something. Your heart come sister. Unto him come who sits on the throne let God find you today are you hearing me to Jesus the lamb who was slain hold my hands father find a vessel in this lady do with her what only you can do ignite a fire in her spirit even as you have revealed to me, let this lady have a, a passion that cannot be quantified. In the name of Jesus, every spiritual weakness leaves you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lamb who was slain. Hallelujah. The Lord is healing my grain headache. The Lord is healing my grain headache. My grain headache. Intense. My grain headache. Where's my neighbor? Is she here? She, she didn't come. Please come. Tonight the Lord is going to visit you. See, many of you don't know that there's something called the season of God's visitation. Who is precious here? Precious. You are precious. Your real name, all the one precious.
make sure it's the name your father gave you. Not the one you gave yourself. This I say I must be precious. God, you must visit me. Many people threaten me with text messages during the miracles. I say, see, God must visit me. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Lord is visiting you. Hold my hands. This demon of marital delay is going. You will go to a real deliverance, right? Come out! Come out of her! Satakabalata Pokosia. The fire of God is burning your whole body from head to toe. It's a foul spirit. Rakata posopa, prendo poto kopete, rekete le kopusia. In this area, we are going to celebrate your wedding. It, I'm announcing it this night. In this area, we are going to celebrate your wedding. That foul devil, come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Sekete. Come out of her. Come out. Come out of her. Come out to a foul spirit. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Be ye lifted. This is a snake. Look at look at what is happening. Look at what is happening. Are you seeing? Look at look at this. This is what is responsible. Shake it, take it, take it, take it. Come out. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. Zombe kete kelaya. Brata pata kata baladaba. Just leave her. He cannot stand. He's going. Now foul devil. You will release her. There is no hiding. The power of God is against you. You will go and return no more. And as you are going, I call forth your husband. Not a man. Your husband. Your husband. Precious. All of you. All of you have... No, no, no. I didn't ask my green to come out. But since you came out, may God visit you. You have an elder brother. Where is he? He's in Abuja. Doing what? He's, you know, he's doing nothing. He went for holidays. Which holiday? He went to Hosu. Tell him to come back. This is what happens to people. They, they just believe that bread is in Abuja. Let me tell you. If some of you want to run, you want to fake visa and run to Germany. Can I tell you something? The Bible says promotion comes neither from the east nor the west. Because some of you are already planning. You just believe. You say you are running. Where to say greener pastures? The Bible says he makes me lie down in The green pastures is the presence of God. Don't feel embarrassed. Okay? May the Lord visit you and visit your brother in the name of Jesus Christ. You will be a great teacher of the word. Huh? You will be a great teacher of the word. Something like light will hit your eyes right now. And God will give you the spirit of revelation. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Open his eyes. Open his eyes. You will be rich, oh. Because you have suffered, you will be rich. And look at me, I'm not just, this is not entertainment. I'm telling you the word of the Lord. Huh? Never forget the house of God, but you will be mightily blessed. How it will happen, we will make people think you went to diabolic, you went and did diabolic things. May the Lord bring this to pass. You will see it happen. Some of you don't know that God will use you more than you have planned. You just think you will just be passive in the house of God and not do anything. No way. God knows how to get you. He will bring you for miracle service quietly. While you are thinking fashion and business and this... God is thinking fashion plus ministry. It's not just fashion, oh my dear. And beauty makeup is, is, is a serious call.
is precious. Where's your mother? Where? Do you believe God wants to visit your family? Tell your mother to forgive everybody that has done whatever. Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? Who offended her? It was one of our uncles. She said, Abba. To her, she said that he, she used to tell us as our children that that he maltreated This thing, her. since when she was small when till was now, small. this is what is stopping her breakthrough. Did you discuss this with me? No. Let her forgive, please. For as long as you keep somebody down, part of you will still be down. Is that true? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. All those who are called into the worship ministry, please, listen. If you come out here, I, I don't mean you like singing or you have a passion. No, I, I like singing. I'm not called into the worship ministry. You get my point? Please, don't be emotional about, about it. Come and line up here quickly. Quickly, God wants to visit people. I don't know why worship ministry will be alive to see you if after this prayer worship ministry ah. please think about it oh. <laughs> see the worship ministry is not a hobby blessed is he If there's no space just stand where you are because fire there's going to be a restoration of the davidic order of worship believe it i'm going to stand listen as i walk around this place the power and is is fire that will come it will catch many of you in a mighty way lord jesus as i begin to take it take it right now take it fall fall take it Take it. Take the fire. 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 The Davidic order of worship. Take the fire. Take the fire. Take the fire. Take the fire. Sing like angels. Receive it. It's coming on you. Lift up your hands, all of you that came to the front. My God, let it fall right now. My God, let it fall right now. To those standing at the door, let it fall, let it fall, let it fall, let it fall, let it fall. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Take it, healing anointings. Matoporosa time. Take it. Make sure you are receiving it. Anointings on graces. Anointings on graces. You will write songs. Many of you will hear songs in your spirit. New songs, psalms, hymns, spiritual songs, psalms, hymns, spiritual songs. Receive it. Psalms, hymns, spiritual songs, songs of power, songs of light, songs of grace. Sons of healing. Listen. Consecration is the key. Consecration is the key to a life of true worship. Consecration. Thank God for the music dimension, but consecration is the key to a genuine life you want to stand some of you are already looking for money if this is your ambition you will not get this davidic anointing it doesn't happen that way your heart must pant after god and after his kingdom you must stay in the place of training 
until he builds you. Oh, let it fall. Yes, Lord, let it fall. Let it fall. As it were in the days of Jehoshaphat. Let it fall. Let it fall. Let it fall. Dimensions. Lord, release it from the east side of the temple. Let there be a releasing. Songs of power. Songs of the spirit. Hallelujah. So that we will do mighty things for our God. Hallelujah. Please go back to your seat. Thank you, Jesus. Did you bring prayer requests? Please pass them quickly. Now, all those who are sick, inside and outside, please, I'd like you to come out quickly. While this is happening, be passing the prayer request. Please, let's save time. Do it quickly. Mighty things are happening in this place. Please don't be in a rush this night. Because what God wants to do, he has not finished. Please, you are sick. Come out. Just ushers help me and line them up. Please. Please. Quickly, quickly. This is a miracle service. As you come and stand, trust God for your miracle. Trust God for your healing. Please. If you are doubting, just go back to your seat. Anybody who is... Please play the instruments. Anybody, mic, music director, whoever. Malia Marako, Sobreti Kalabash. Those of you... Those of you staying, make sure you are praying for them. As I lay my hands on you, I want to assure you, please believe God for real miracles. Some of you as you are standing, because there is a healing river, as you are standing, you can't stand that majestic healing presence of the Holy Spirit. The majestic presence. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit's gentle touch. Help me, Pastor. Please help him with your mic. Is flowing. Jesus. We. Make sure you pass your prayer request. I tell you, there is a healing river. There is a healing river. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. Holy Spirit, gentle touch is Lord. I pray for you begin to check yourself. Jesus, we believe.
Lord is showing me a vision right now. The little rain is here tonight to lead you to the point of your knees. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see healing. I see breakthrough. I see miracle here tonight. one of the biggest miracles that will happen in this place tonight. Many of you don't know what a breakthrough is. The Bible says, and Abraham was old and stricken in age, and God had blessed him in all things. This is what we call breakthrough. Hallelujah. Please, if you have not submitted your request, let me tell you where we got the revelation of this. The Bible says, and they sent a threat letter to Hezekiah. Remember? And the Bible says Hezekiah took the letter and came and dropped it on the altar and showed God the threatenings. And when that happened, there was wisdom that was revealed and they strategized worshippers. And the Bible says that they began to fight themselves in the camp. You will see a lot of confusion as we begin to pray for this thing. I don't mean confusion here. Confusion in the camp of the enemy. Whatever request you brought in this place, I really want, many of you don't know what God is doing this night. God is setting people on fire. We have a few minutes remaining. But God will visit you. We want you to come back with evidences that God touched you. See, when you get results, it's a consolation to your Christian work. Are you listening to me? Those outside, look at some of you standing. Standing right across, I see you. God cannot allow you to go back the same way. It's impossible. You didn't come to meet an idol. Hallelujah. Rise up on your feet, everybody. It's a very prophetic moment right now. As we pray, I'd like to ask the ministers, Pastor Williams. Pastor. So. Please, if you've not written your request, drop it. God is doing great things in this place. As we begin to pray on this request, Pastor. Hallelujah. 
Pray along with us, prophesy. Stretch your hands and pray. Tell the Lord, this is my request, O oh Lord. This is my request. Father, locate people. Locate people, O oh God. Locate cases. There are, there are difficult cases. Cases of barrenness. Deliverances for families. Lord, this is an altar you have sanctified. In one accord we pray. Just lay your hands across it. As we release the virtue of perfection. Total breakthroughs. Academic breakthroughs. Make sure you are praying. Say, Lord, my request in this is in this place. Locate it. Those online, we are connecting with them also in the spirit. Those following us on all of our online channels. Yes, Lord, we thank you. Release breakthroughs to families. We sanctify these requests. These Egyptians will never be seen in families and lives again. Change stories, oh God. Hallelujah. Omnipotent Father, Lord God of mercy and grace. The God who says a thing and accomplishes in the life of his children. The I am that I am. The beginning and the end. The first and the last. Who is there like unto you? You are greater than the greatest. You are stronger than the strongest. You are mightier than the mightiest. You're the one who sits in the heavens and you made the earth your full stool. You are great. You are greatly to be praised. We thank you because of this opportunity that you have given unto us, O oh God, to bring down our needs, our supplication, our request unto your feet. You said in your word that you are able to do exceedingly and abundantly far above all we ever ask, think, or imagine according to the power that is at work within us. We thank you, O oh God, because we know that every need that has been penned down, every request that has been written down, you have already seen it. You have already seen it. And because you have seen it, we thank you because this, this request is seen by the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And we see you doing great things in this place tonight. Thank you for the testimonies. Thank you for the testimonies that are coming out from this pen down written notes. We thank you for the testimonies coming out from this. In the name of Jesus, we bless you because we know that we will come here next time to give you thanks of what you have done. Thank you Lord because every need, every need, every need here, they are met. Amen. We give you thanks. Thank you, Lord. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. Oh God, we give you thanks. Lord, we give you thanks. We give you praise. For we know that all things work together for our good. We give you thanks. We give you thanks.
give you praise for by faith we know your grace we see us through hallelujah praise the lord My God, as I pray, you gave me an anointing to bless, an anointing to release. Father, as many people as are in this place, inside and outside, they came here hungry. And Lord, as I speak on behalf of the government of heaven, let these words be so effectual. Let these words be fervent. Respond, O oh God. Every word I declare, let there be testimonies that will return. Every word that I'm about to declare to you, please, when I pray, I like you to shout amen with all your heart. Because I sense a very strong prophetic anointing coming upon me. I really want to speak from the depths of my heart. I don't just want you to believe it. I want you to return. The Bible says, and the 70 returned rejoicing. Hallelujah. I want to pray for families. Lift your hands. Let's start with families right now. Please, I'd like you to shout amen with all your heart. Hallelujah. Every family represented in this place, every family, any curse, any ordinance of darkness, every yoke of bondage afflicting any family, I set you free now in the name of Jesus I set families free now in the name of Jesus I set families free now in the name of Jesus I set families free now in the name of Jesus father mother brothers sisters be free be free be free be free, be free, be free, be free. Oh, you will come back with testimonies. Anyone here, whether you or your family members, looking for a job. In the mighty name that is above all names, between today and the next 40 days, I place a demand upon the heavens. Receive miracle jobs. Receive miracle jobs. Receive miracle jobs for you, for your loved ones.
I don't care what it is. Any kind of academic, whether missing script. You're on probation, you are trusting the hand, whatever it is. You're doing your project, things are difficult. Whatever academic issue tonight, in the name of the Lord God of Israel, the one who does wonders in this place, I declare, step into a season of academic victory. Step into a season of academic victory. I release you from any kind of bondage. I release you any kind of academic bondage. Be free. Be free. Amen. Be free. Amen. Hallelujah. All those who are due for marriage, whether you or your love, your loved ones. See, let me tell you in this place, once you are of marriageable age, you must marry. Are you hearing me? Are you listening to me? What did I say? Right. Hallelujah. Somebody married, that's why you are here. You must marry. Praise God. Are you listening to me? Right now, I speak as a servant of the living God. I've prayed about it, but I will pray again. I pray. Some of you, you are a lady, you are pretty. But no man can come around. This is a curse. Tonight I pray that your wives and your husbands, those of you who are who have concubines and etc. When I make the altar call, run out here. Because this is what will stop you. You are entitled to only one wife. Say amen. You are entitled to only one husband. Say amen. The spirit of double dating dies here tonight. Leave another sister's husband to locate her husband. Leave another brother's wife to locate him. But I pray in the name of Jesus, before the end of this year, may there be fearful or inspiring miracle marriage. Take it. Take it. Before December 31st, 2013, come back with testimonies for yourself, for your loved ones. We supply the resources, we supply the grace. That, that man is like a tree planted in this by place. the rivers of water. H I V. Do not wither. Whatever it is. The best food in Hallelujah. every season. Infections, As you are about listening to this message, we need the life. I declare right now. Like that we cast it from the root the in the name of Jesus. Anyone here whose genotype is SS or AS in the name that is above all names, be changed, be changed to AA. I change it in the name of the Lord. Receive it. Receive a change of genotype. You will come back with testimonies. Believe it. Receive it. Thank you. Everything he made, he made it beautiful. Any kind of demonic dreams and oppressions of darkness. Some of you see people sleep with you. Some of you see all kinds of demonic things. Molestations of darkness. I pray right now. The last time you had that dream or that experience, let it be the last time forever in your life. I said let it be the last time forever. Let it be the last time forever. Satan, I curse you. I curse every foul spirit. Amen, amen, amen. All oh, those who are students and are in final year, I declare, those who need the mercy of God for their graduation, I pray right now, 
let policies be changed let something happen in your faculty that has never happened we release you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah I want to prophesy restoration whatever it is that you have lost whether as a result of your past or mistakes opportunities graces I pray that the God who regulates times and seasons let that season come back to your life in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus every lecturer in this place or those who your parents are lecturers stand for them I want to speak there are lecturers whose promotions are overdue is that true is that true in the name that is above all names this night we command even offices that are not available we create it for them this night in the name of Jesus the Bible says and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon the king sent for Joseph tonight I connect you with supernatural destiny helpers that will take you from where you are to the next level I connect you I call for the helpers of your destiny financial helpers marital helpers career helpers spiritual helpers receive their ministry in your life in the name of Jesus I pray any project anyone is doing here whether you or your whether building project whatever it is for you and for your families you are building a three bedroom flat that has taken over 10 years this is a curse I pray right now in the name of Jesus let there be supernatural supplies the beds that brought food for the prophet I command may they locate your family open up the heavens over your family in the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah one of the things God is doing in this season is preparing people for dimensions of prosperity that will scare people Hallelujah. God is seriously looking for men who he will trust. These men will not just get well, they will be trained. The first thing you need is the staying grace. The school is not easy, let me tell you the truth. But happy are you when you pass through it because you will command wealth that will make you afraid. I pray for you. Every curse of poverty and lack there are some of you who are kingdom financiers the power of God will come upon you kingdom financiers kingdom financiers kingdom financiers kingdom financiers now I pray for everyone this cause of poverty that is upon many lives and families that has closed the heaven over many people in the name of the Lord Jesus this night by the sure mercies of the God of David I command your heavens to be open I command your financial heavens be open be open be open be open be open be open that bring prosperity favor and wisdom hallelujah money comes through favor it is preserved through wisdom the bible says through wisdom is a house built and by understanding it is established through knowledge the rooms are filled with every treasurable thing I pray let your hands receive wealth that only God can give inexplainable 
but undeniable. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you, brothers, it is not by power. When it comes to prosperity, it is not by might. It's by the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Two more things and we're up. I want to pray for favor. This is one of the things we enjoy in abundance. Hallelujah. I cannot tell you how the favor of God works. No man can explain it. But I know it works. I know it works. I am a testament. If you believe, I want you to believe. Many of you, you, you are used to suffering. You don't know what the favor of God can do. Some of our family members, what you need is the favor of God. Bible says in Isaiah 44 verse 3 said they got not into their land they got not the land by their possessions neither did their arms save them but because you had you showed favor towards them please believe one encounter of favor I tell you it can it can it can keep you in a position for a lifetime believe it there is something called divine favor what you see today is the evidence we have never paid a dime for this venue the last miracle service i still don't know who paid for the venue this is the favor of god i want you to believe it if you want to work for everything in your life get set to die hallelujah lift your hands let me pray for you favor for many of you to come on you this is what you need i'm telling you this is what you need families what you need is favor not stories my god my god i pray in the name of jesus the favor that is upon koinonia i take it and i release it to your life take it now take it now take it now take it now, take it now. i activate favor 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 with God, favor with man, favor, receive it, favor. Koinonia is called the place of intimacy and partnership with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. You cannot come here tonight and not be on fire for God. You cannot be here tonight and not be on fire for the things of the spirit hallelujah hallelujah i want to release grace that your spiritual life will stand strong and solid many of you your prayer altars are dead it's not because you don't love god hallelujah many of you one leg in one leg out last year you were on fire this year hallelujah many of our mothers fathers people at home our prayer life our word life we're looking for things that only the word of god can give us but jesus said to martha i said one thing is needful one thing one thing i want to pray for you hallelujah alongside with this i want to pray for the distribution of the gifts of the spirit hallelujah Paul said, I long to come to you that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that ye may be established. A powerless Christianity, and I'm not talking of just falling out. Christianity with results. Christianity with proofs. We have too many talkatives in the body of Christ. Inside or outside. Some of you have been crying and said, Lord, can't my life not have proofs? Can the sick be healed through my hands too? Can I not bless people and it will work for them? Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Hallelujah.
I considered it to be an all important impartation. Please get ready because it will come upon you. Different kinds of gifts of the spirit, stirrings of the spirit. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. At the shout of that name, some of you will, will be set on fire literally so that your spiritual life will be hot so that God will use you and do wonders are you ready? shout it with all your heart at the count of three. One, two, three. take it God of knowledge take it gifts of wisdom take it, take it, take it take it, inside and outside the gifts of prophecy Gift of tongues, interpretation of tongues, receive it. I set your prayer life on fire. I set your prayer life on fire. Let the spirit of revelation fall. Spirit of revelation, the teaching anointing, leadership anointing. Take it. Take it, Jesus. take it, leadership anointing, Jesus. leadership anointing, Jesus. Press to fast, Jesus. press to pray, Jesus. press to say no, to sin, press to say no, to destructive habits. Results that we enjoy in this house may it be part of your life from today in the name of Jesus hallelujah I release entrepreneurial ideas say pop pop pata there is a spirit listen I take from the abundance of grace that God has given me entrepreneurial ideas that will raise financial giants. Lift your hands, everybody. In the mighty name of Jesus, take it, take it, take it, take it. Jesus. Take it, Jesus. Hallelujah. May your life be a fruitful life. May your life be a fruitful life. Amen. May your life be a fruitful life. Amen. May God bring results to your life. To be a consolation to your Christian work. Any life that has not been experiencing results that you have never testified, may this be your month. Any life that has not been experiencing results, may this be your month. Do you believe this? Hallelujah. I want to give you an opportunity inside and outside. If you've never given your heart to the Lord, please keep standing everybody. You've never made a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You've never made a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Hear me. Inside and outside, you are hearing my voice right now. You have seen the works of the Lord. It's time for you to get into a real relationship with God. Or for some of you, you have given your heart to the Lord. Hallelujah. But you found yourself derailing. Inside and outside, the Lord is speaking to you. Mother, father, whoever. I want you to leave your seat and come out here right now. I want to lead you and reconnect you back to the King of Kings. The lover of your life. 
inside and outside right now leave your seat and come koinonia appreciate them as they come everybody thank you thank you they are coming god bless you don't be ashamed don't be afraid god bless you thank you thank you our mother is coming celebrate them koinonia outside don't let the devil stop you mother father whoever yes it's time to surrender surrender appreciate them it doesn't matter what your past is god can give you a new beginning don't allow the person you came with to stop you this is the greatest miracle another jesus keep clapping keep clapping they are still coming the holy ghost is convicting them inside and outside thank you jesus we will connect you to the maker of your life God bless you, sister. God bless you, brother. And I surrender. God bless you. Hallelujah. I want to celebrate you for your bold decision for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. People close their eyes when they are about to get born again as if what they are doing is wrong. This is the greatest miracle. Hallelujah. And I want you to know that we celebrate you. Some of you are giving your heart to Jesus for the first time. Others have given your heart to the Lord, but you found yourself derailing. I want to pray for you. The Lord loves you and he wants to make meaning out of your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, all of you in front. I'd like you to say after me and mean it from the depths of your heart. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I love you. And I thank you for dying for my sins. This night, I believe that Jesus is Savior and Lord. And I accept him. My name is in the book of life. I declare that I'm saved. The Holy Spirit is in me. Eternal life is mine. From today, I denounce sin and Satan and every past life and I receive grace to live the victorious Christian life. My sins are washed away. It's a new beginning for me. Amen. Let me pray for you. Father, thank you. You brought these ones by your spirit. You brought them to bless you brought them to reconnect them to the maker of their lives. My God, I pray that their salvation will last. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray that you do mighty things through their lives. I pray that many destinies will be blessed. The reason and the purpose for which they came to the earth, let it be discovered and maximized. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray that every encumbrance, everything that keeps you, in the path that is not of God, you are free for me today. There is grace for you. You will enjoy a victorious fellowship with the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We celebrate you. Please, I'd like you to follow the ushers. They'll have your details and we'll send you a text and get across to you. Pastor Jakes is not around, but we'll send, we'll make arrangements and I'll be there by God's grace to see you. God bless you. Please tomorrow, together with them, all those who have not received the baptism of the Holy Spirit with evidence of speaking in tongues, six on the dot, please be at the chapel. I will be there to minister to you. Hallelujah. Six on the dot, be at the chapel. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please rise up. We are closing. Thank you for waiting this long. All those who are worshiping with us for the first time, inside and outside, we love you and we believe God brought you here to bless you. I'd like you to jump on your feet and rush out here quickly. Celebrate them, Koinonia. If this is your first time, please, inside and outside, you are special. We have a prayer for you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. All those who invited them, I pray that every good thing will come into your life in the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. Keep clapping. They are still coming. Thank you. Thank you, sirs. 
Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Thank you. Keep clapping until they come. They are special to us. They are the evidence that God is at work in this place. Thank you, Jesus. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you